Stop being so sensitive, bitch. <laughs> No bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and get it done. Is Trina there? Trina. sound begin, we about to go in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch, yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this Ghetto folks gonna be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss, yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this It's on. It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah Come on with it 5150 in the house. What it do? No doubt. Corey Holcomb. We are here another week with Darlene OG Ortiz. You know Marcus over there, goddammit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we in here. Thank you, Atlanta Comedy Theater. It's a hell of a weekend. Sold out. All the shows, the last show, I think we missed sell out by like ten or fifteen people, or was it sold out too? I don't know. It looks sold out. It, it was, look if like it me. wasn't, it was it was it was great. Comedy Atlanta, thank you for coming to see me talk that shit. I think I think they enjoyed all the shows. I ain't gonna lie, man. Them shows was cracking, dog. Hey, it was telling me that boy. It was <laughs> hey, we, man. We hey, it was it was a great time, man. Them motherfuckers wasn't ready for that shit, dog. I was, I was putting it down. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I ain't no bragging ass nigga, but I'm saying, man, I be knocking these motherfuckers upside the head. I ain't no regular nigga coming to town. I'm Corey Holcomb. I promise you that. We in Houston this coming up week. That shit gonna be sold out. <laughs> Arlington, y'all the week after that. Arlington, Texas, y'all the week after that. We coming to see you. And after that is the big show in Chi-Town, September 9th, Chicago Theater. I'm, I'm speaking about it because I want to sell this Chicago Theater out on my own like I'm doing. Everybody like, who else with you? I'm like the motherfuckers I bring with me. But I'm bringing funny heat on the show. I ain't got no who more Who else on the lineup? Um... Well, I got this motherfucker uh, from New York, and uh, a lot of people, so a lot of people know him. He's the I've done shows with him before, uh, but this this nigga is talented, man. Uh, this motherfucker got a Spanish name. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> you can't say it. What is it? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. It's Smokey Sw Smokey Suarez. Smokey Suarez. Oh, okay. He's one of the guys on the show. Funny, funny. Been doing it. For a while too, funny. We got Kevin Tate on the show. We got this um the nigga who helped Marcus with his hair. <laughs> oh yeah, he's Al funny. Green. I like that guy. The big Al guy. Green, yeah, yeah he's, he's, Green, he was funny, he's, he? he's a naturally funny guy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, Green, I yeah. got them jokes. And Ontario. I, that's where I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. We had to get him. I, I, he's good. I, we had to fly him on Southwest so he can have that seat in the half. <laughs> Real shit. The emergency exit. Yeah. yeah. Al Green, 
We just said, boy, you got to get on Southwest where they know <laughs> scheduled seating and you got to take that one flight. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, I'll agree a big boy, but it, the show going to be funny. All right, so let's talk this shit, man. But I want to tell y'all something. A lot of real OG niggas I know say, stop addressing them busted motherfuckers, and I will stop addressing mm-hmm. them busted motherfuckers. Um, Can you make the chat bigger? Huh? Can they make the chat bigger? I can oh, see it. You can't see that more, kids. Oh, my uh, no, I can't see, see it. See, I got my glasses. Why don't we see? Uh, oh, no, I can still read it without them. I feel like my vision works or something. Oh, I want to talk about the homie Riza Islam for a second as we start the show. As the government is trying to ump their case on my brother, we, we put up something where y'all can read some information about what's going on. What's the basics? The gist? Can you let them know? Because I, I don't Well, even... let me tell you something. Whenever, mm-hmm. you, whenever you for the people, mm-hmm. they put a case on you. No matter what, they can always put a case on you. The government can always put a case on you. Right, because like, then you got to fight your way out of that. So they're like, okay. It costs ahead. money. Uh-huh. It costs time. Uh-huh. The government put a case on you. They don't put a case on you if you ain't about shit. Especially this bullshit they coming at my man with, some fake-ass motherfucking uh, them charges where the government say they gave you some money and... Everybody who got them PPP loans, those are the same people they gonna go after, huh? from public assistance that gave you the loan. They already know you lied. They want to be able to put a case on you. They have a lifetime case on you because you ain't who you said you was on them PPP loans. Mm. <laughs> you that was their new way of putting cases on people who think they ain't going to have a case on them. But now they got a, they can always put a case on you. Um, my brother Rizza, I know him for doing more than talking. I've seen him in the community doing things for the people whenever he on the show. Uh, he, uh, he, he always, it's always a good show. Go back to the $20, nigga. what they say? I still got love for you, Corey, even after you hated on my... Avatar? Avatar. Because <laughs> you tell your truth. With that being said, can you reach out to Israel, United in Christ, and ask them about Jesus' whereabouts? <laughs> Shalom. Mm-hmm. Man, ain't nobody seen this nigga Jesus, but he get mm-hmm. credit for all the good shit. Oh. And when the bad shit happened, they rub it in on something else. Mm. What, what'd you say, Nayel? Uh oh. We let him know. It'll, it'll, it'll let them know again. Oh. Oh, so. Fix a leg. Can they hear me? It's not matching up. Yeah. It'll be. Okay, so we. I think we finna switch the show over. So we'll start over bear again. with us a second. We'll be right back. Make sure you have your settings on. It'll
Testing, 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 testing. As we have brought up my brother, Rizza. Baby. It's drama with the game. Testing, testing. We don't give a fuck. They said we're Millie Vanilli. <laughs> That's terrible. Millie Vanilli and shit. Hell no. Is it gone? Is it back? Testing, testing, testing. Corey looked like Lemon Spinks. Fuck y'all. All right, so. First of all, this is the 5150 bucket hat. Um, Ooh, we had two sold. kinds. Yeah. The they first won. version we had sold out, right? The first set. This one, it ain't going to be no more for a while after this. This is the big one. This is the one for people with dreads and everything, man. It's, or big heads like me. <laughs> My vote, very expensive to make. And I'm thinking about getting some more made. It depends on how these sell. But we still have the baseball but to, to sell the big ones, the, um, what are these called? The uh, Flex Fits. Oh, yeah, stretch, a little stretch. Well, if you I had to spend some thread to make these, <laughs> more baseball well, hats to, will be up well, tomorrow. Well, if you wore dreads, you had to get one of them umbrellas that's out of Walmart. Nigga, Here we go. Hat, nigga. Mm. <laughs> you know, I just look right at your armpits. <laughs> about thirty minutes from now, boy, you gonna now, they look good. Now, dude. They good. You gonna look wet. You know, there's a drought around here. That's a thick-ass sweatshirt. Detox, I detox today. He you might, know what I'm saying? Come in handy. You know, there's a drought in California. Lake Mead. He can go. We can go send Marcus over there. Ain't no droughts. The government's taking the water. Y'all motherfuckers don't know what's happening right in your face. How the fuck Vegas flood? When? <laughs> like two weeks ago? Oh, There's a lot of cities be flooding. Crazy. It be yeah. flooding. These motherfuckers oh, doing bogus shit. shit, man. These motherfuckers doing bogus shit, man. There's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world. But, yo, I just want to say, listen, man, I want y'all to do me a favor. If you will, because I know how it is. See, I'm I'm talking about my man because he worth it. Ow. I mean, it's a lot of people who talk shit about me and all that shit. You know, I right, nigga, I just can't keep giving you shine, nigga. This nigga's trying to start drama between me and other niggas. Still, I mean, God, listen, man, you gonna get what you asking for? I promise you. But I ain't got time for you right now. I got time for my brother. Um, he says, and you know, he's targeted for serving the people. If mm -hmm. everybody who served the people get targeted, get targeted, yeah. Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm X, Malcolm X, Mega Ever. You, we can keep Ma going. Ma 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 yeah. We can keep going. If you are here for the people, you get that bullshit. I need y'all to help my brother out, man. You know what I'm saying? Go to RizzaIslam.com. They, they make it where he don't have these social media pages and shit because they be hating, but, you know, he was part of that, um, what's that 12? What do they call that 12? The misinformation dozen. The, the misinformation oh, yeah, He's in, in the chat. Room. Misinformation dozen. RZA was named as one of them guys. Basically, the list of people that give you the information you need. You want to hear what he they said? Fuck, they the fuck you over. You what happened? What, you want to hear what he said in the coming? What did he say, Marcus? He, he said, peace. The case has been going on for nearly seven years, and I have maintained my innocence. If this goes to trial, we will bring our proof and let the enemy bring his. Mm. There it is. So I want y'all to do me a favor. Even if it ain't but one dollar, go to Rizza Islam and Rizza, if you got a, if do you got like a cash app or something like that? Yeah. Even if it's only one dollar, I want y'all to donate tonight to my brother because fighting a case costs money. It costs money, y'all. And I'm just saying, I feel like, I feel like Brother Rizza is not, man, look, these motherfuckers, they, I hide behind comedy, but they, Coming for me too, motherfucker. This, this shit is no joke, man. Those who speak up, them motherfuckers come at us hard, man. Those who speak up. Now, I ain't on the level of RZA. RZA has um, 
uh, a track record of doing things in the community. And like I say, I've witnessed him doing things in the community. You know what I'm saying? I've done things in the community, just not as direct. I've helped a lot of motherfucking people. I'm sugarcoating. I help bitches get on their feet. Oh, and, damn okay. it. Damn it. Well, I was like going, what is RZA it? Did Islam you do something? helps all the people. God damn it. Corey, you're so, forgetting about the clothes we always take. Remember I took- What happened? How many times we've taken up clothes? I got to take clothes back over there. To the, it's homeless, so we, we, we do. Take clothes we take to the Yeah, we do that a lot. Well, we yeah. get clothes. We have a lot of clothes. Clothes, yeah. blankets, everything. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they, they use it for cover? Because it, it, it ain't- You know what? Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. You know what? Yeah, so I need y'all to do me a favor and, and, and help my man out. He didn't ask me to say that because he ain't that kind of man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it because I know when you have a court case, it costs so much money. It, it costs money, man. Them people rob you, man. But anyway, Brother Rizzo, I'll give you a call tomorrow, man. I, um... I'll make a little donation to whatever it is, man, because I already know what you up against, Black. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a cold world. It's a cold world. But anyway, Jeez. back to the ignorant shit. Um, hey, so we've been fighting for seven years, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, uh. It's, uh, it, it, ain't, it ain't right how this, they can, a motherfucker put a case on you, what you gonna do? I'm saying, I didn't know they, they been pushing back the same case that long? He said, he's been fighting the seven years. Damn. I thought you got to have it a certain amount of time. No, the hat's not on there, Shanika. Sorry. It's a, it was sold out. It was on there early on. We got more. I'll put some more baseball hats up tomorrow. No, right? we got some of these, D. Oh, did you have some? You, I thought you were going to take them on the road. I did. Well, I got some left. Oh, well, I will put them up tomorrow. How about that? This hat will be online tomorrow. We got two different kinds. We got the... Big size hat that costs some money, and then we got the other side hat that's price, priced more reasonable. Reasonable, wait, it, but it's a bucket hat. The two. We got two different kinds of bucket okay. hats. Okay, and then it's also the big head bucket more hat. black baseball hats are gonna go up too tomorrow. So yeah, the black baseball caps will be up tomorrow too. Right now, the white's available. I should have worn one of those. Now, last Thursday, I was at, I was at the. Um, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Ray celebration, oh, memorial oh, celebration, oh. yeah, um, comedy show, comedy show. Oh, it was a show too. That's nice. yeah. yeah. I showed up. I made my presence known there. That was nice. And um, I want to tell y'all this. Uh, another comedian brother. I was talking to him. Um, uh, his name is a uh, <laughs> what's my man's name. Big boy. Doughboy? Doughboy. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. Comedian Doughboy. Good brother. Mm -hmm. Good brother. But um, something I said on my show um, touched him when mm -hmm. I was talking about um, people who say they're going to commit suicide shouldn't be saying they're going to commit suicide and not do it because it's just more stress on the people who love and care about you. Now, I stand behind that statement. It touched him in what way? He Did said it? he be wanting to kill himself. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. I'm like, well, why you ain't dead? Damn. If I don't, I don't think it's fair to say, I'm going to kill myself. That's what motherfuckers be saying when they bitch break up with her. I kill myself. Listen. But, but has he announced it though? Has he said that? Well, yeah, publicly? he announced it. He said it to me, and it was one. By the way, announced it. He was said one it to nigga you. in the crowd who was actually agreeing with him. Now well, this is on, what well, I got to say. All you motherfuckers who threaten to kill yourself and don't kill yourself, why am I the bad guy for, for calling you on your bluff? If you're ready to die, please get it over with so we can have your arrangements and everything oh behind us. We can't baby you through life. 
Life is too motherfucking hard for me to be like, don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Do your shit, nigga. Oh. Stop faking it. Oh. Be about it, motherfucker. Don't that fuck around that. with it. Do it expeditiously. Right. Now you don't be think, all you can be, nigga. You don't think that some it's that some bad. of those are maybe a cry out? What'd you say? You don't think that some of them at least are a cry out? Like they they just need some help. Like all of it is a cry out for attention. Oh, there you go. The real motherfuckers are dead as fuck. Please take <sighs> Teddy Ray off the thing while we talk about this shit, God. That's crazy. That's crazy. We talk about yeah, sometimes the motherfuckers the stay up there too who long. perpetrate mm -hmm. killing themselves. If you perpetrate killing yourself, I'm going to call you on your shit. Mm. If I say I'm going to kill myself, I'm bullshitting with you. I kind of get what you're talking about because, the, oddly enough, again, I get because people that have actually committed it didn't announce it. It's the, That's what I'm saying. Did. It's people in the hospital right now fighting for their life. Whereas if they just gave up, you couldn't even be mad at them because of what they really going through. You can't walk up to me and tell me shit about what you finna do when it comes to killing yourself and don't do it. You killing my, you killing my ears. Motherfucker, stop perpetrating in life. Motherfuckers who do that are all that. What what could be the worst perpetration in life? Besides saying you gonna kill yourself and don't do it. Come on now, nah. come on now. Nah. That ain't fair to me, the motherfucker who trying to live. I'm supposed to feel sad because you trying to motherfucker take the easy way out and be like fuck this shit. Who? But then you don't even do it. You, That's negative nutrition in my mind. I think. Do you feel the same way about people that say they're depressed? What do you mean? Everybody depressed. Dog, if I sweated like you every show, <laughs> I would be ready to kill myself. I think the worst thing about, the worst thing than that is the people that, that are so depressed or so sick that they end up taking the whole, their whole family out and not themselves. Just you go, go do yourself. You're talking about maniacs. Sociopaths, whatever you want to call them, crazies that end up harming all these other people and then... Yet they are the ones that had the problem. Go do you. You go do you. Don't don't take the kids and your ex wife or your girlfriend, whatever. That's bananas. You so de I'm upset a, I'm a, I'm out of your boy take yourself. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me one day that. in an interview. Anybody want to come up here to the show? I can't have you at the show. I can do an interview with a lot of people because an interview is something that well we could just sit down and you know it's just us. But my show is my show. I can't destroy the. I can't stop the flow of the show with a nigga who's trying to kill himself. Oh, my God. That's stupid. I shouldn't even be worried about the interview if you're going to kill yourself. You, motherfucker, look, if you call me more than three times in a week about coming on the show and you ain't dead after you said you're thinking about killing yourself, what the fuck? That is fucking hilarious to me. This motherfucker playing with me. I wanted to kill myself when I saw the phone ring again about coming up to the cell. I was, Fuck it! Blah. I'm just saying. Would you be worried about being around somebody that, that uh, was wanting to kill themselves? What well, they told you they wanted to kill themselves? Um, I mean, you, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't be around people. Like, if somebody say they want to kill themselves, trust me, you're not the energy I want around me. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. I, I wouldn't, yeah. That's, yeah I, no, I feel no, in no. danger. Of course. I don't want that energy around me. If you say you're going to kill yourself, yeah, you might get somebody the with you. fuck away from me. You just don't know what I've been going through. What? Look at D. D can't see worth a shit. Is she ready to kill herself? God damn it. Abraham dyed his hair blind instead of killing himself. How you think Nail felt when the people in power said, you can't wear your hair like that? Did he kill himself? No. Yeah, you live with that head your whole life. You ain't killed yourself. You're a strong brother. That's right. Yeah. When they had those people on my shoulder. <laughs> when you couldn't get through the line of Popeyes, you still stood <laughs> tough. You didn't take yourself out. <laughs> you was a trooper, Corey. When D couldn't fuck one of the little boys that work at Popeye. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a stretch. Did she kill herself? That's a stretch. No. 
Because he was no. underage. <laughs> Oh yes, I wanted to get free food for to make sure Corey survives. Mm-hmm. Got to feed the beast. They tried to make Gomac eat a goddamn motherfucking red velvet care cupcake, and he don't eat that shit. Yeah, but he he was didn't want to kill us, himself but over he that. Us. <laughs> he was offering cupcakes that he don't eat, but he didn't kill himself. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't, I mean, it ain't hard for nobody to be. You know, they said just keep on eating. Yeah, keep on eating. That'll that'll kill you. Kill you. That'll that'll kill that's you a pleasurable too. death. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. <laughs> you, you just just keep on eating till you go out. Uh, <laughs> you really want to kill you. Uh, they say Doughboy want to kill himself on the 5150 show. <laughs> he <laughs> thought I was bullshit. Black. Well, fuck. No, I ain't trying to put nobody Doughboy on the got, spot. Doughboy got mm. his uh, teddy. You see the tattoo? You got a uh, teddy face on his, uh, on his arm? Yeah, right now. Oh. <laughs> Doughboy arm can fit teddy, teddy on there? <laughs> I cannot, I'm joking I with our people. Mm. We don't joke. This is what we do. Somebody say ten toes down and pop out. I don't have my toes out. <laughs> Surviving Stupid. Darlene. Uh-huh. No, listen to me though. This is what I'm saying to y'all, man. I'm not the one to come to for advice on killing yourself. That's one thing I ain't got nothing to tell you, but Hey, you bullshit because you ain't did it. If you want to kill yourself and you can't do it, God damn it, you are a failure. You a failure. It's easy to kill yourself, God damn it. Why you can't do it if you want to do it? You must not want to do it. You want the attention. That's what you want. So that's my take on the shit. Do yeah. you know somebody who want to kill themselves, Marcus? No. Not at the top of my dome. What about you, you D? No. You ever got down, that down in your life, Cole? That what? That you, you feel like you would want to kill yourself? I ain't never what? wanted to kill myself, goddamn. You got understand. to put up with me. I just can't understand it. I, right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I, can't, I just ain't never had that urge of feeling. It, just, just, it don't See, cross my goodness. mind. Yeah. I don't thank even. Goodness. Even with no hair, he ain't ready to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> he young with no hair too. God damn it, this motherfucker. I just, I just feel like I got a major purpose, man. Yeah, exactly. You know Thank I you. Got, I, got, yeah. I got, really got something to live for, man. You know what I mean? And, and you know, that's what keep me moving. You know, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Kids, your I health, go, a lot of things. Yeah. People he ain't got no kids. Shit, but, Not yeah. yet, but I'm just saying, God, Lee, Corey. What he can't have kids? What? How do you know? Oh my gosh! Just because he at his have age, he'd have had one if he could do it. There's a lot of people ain't that don't have kids. Ain't nothing to be ashamed kids. of. Well, what's that, about the women? There's a lot and, of women and, and that are older don't have kids. My man Doughboy just told me he got custody of his daughter, so that's a reason to be happy. Goddammit! Sure. Marcus ain't got no legacy to leave. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. No, speaking of shit like that, somebody told me some real shit about legacy. What they uh, say? I want everybody to hear this shit. Your legacy doesn't always have to be your kids. It could be your work. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People mm-hmm. don't know Martin Luther King mm-hmm. necessarily from his kids. They know him from his legacy of, of what he did. Because yes. his kids ain't shit. What he stood it's, by. Yeah, it's about uh-huh. that stamp you leave on the world. Fat man. motherfucker at Trump office <laughs> like, it's all good. We shall, what my daddy say? I cannot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the fuck? You your my fat, daddy? fat Luther King, when he went up to Trump office. Was it an actual son there? I didn't know he did it. Son, huh? It's the son, oh fat my. Luther King. Oh my God. Is it his grandson or his oh. son? son? It might have been a grandson. No, I, I think eat it was ding dongs. I eat ding dongs. Thank God Almighty. Get your garbage ass out of here. Up at Trump office. Your father would have turned over in his grave. Oh my God. <laughs> You don't think MLK is never going to try something? You ain't heard about what? Well, uh, him being at Trump office. Yeah. Man, Martin Luther King, son, was at Trump office kissing ass like a motherfucker. Kissing ass, kissing ass. <laughs> oh, my Good God. Good God Almighty, he was kissing ass. He was kissing ass. Fucking up the whole motherfucking legacy. But Martin Luther King was known for what he do. Like, Marcus, your legacy going to be wet arms. <laughs> yeah. Wet arms and top hats. <laughs> <laughs> Your legs are gonna be a head wet champion of the world. <laughs> <laughs> D, what's your legacy going to be? Maybe you should say it, because if we say it, you're going to leave. <laughs> uh, my hospice, volunteer care, and my senior advoca- advocacy care. 
at work. You ain't around no seniors. All the time. And I love me some seniors. I go to all these facilities, spend time with them, bring them food. Of course, my precious Pearl is in one right now, unfortunately. But everybody else. Once, when my grandmother was here, I used to do it with family. And then when I got older, I was able to just give of myself because I would see that other elderly people didn't have families that, you know, looked out for them. So. You're going to be known as the oldest side piece in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. At least I don't have to do his drawers. I don't have to do his laundry or worry about cleaning his house. Let, take me out, homie, and then drop me off. Bam. <laughs> I ain't doing shit else for <laughs> Somebody say Marcus ain't got no woman or kid. You don't want kids? You want kids, right, Marcus? I think I'm going to have me some little ones. But not right away. We mean some. Nigga, you, you old for making you kids. You can have kids when hey, you're 70. I know 70. a nigga that had a kid Thank that you. Yes. it, man. That See? nigga could. 40, that's you not can't. even that old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I ain't, I ain't he's tripping. No one near fought it. Something wrong with you, man. It's okay. One day you're <laughs> going to, just like Tevin Campbell finally came out and said he was gay. One day you're going to come out and say, I, I can't make no kids. All right. Stop. Nigga, I had a bitch had an abortion before. I, did that don't prove you could make a kid? We don't Not know recently. if it was yours. Huh? We don't know if it was actually yours. Well, if she aborted, we don't know, because you couldn't test to see if it was really your DNA. Somebody's chilling pimp gave, gave $100, so he said, Hold you on, can dude. go get 20. I don't know her, so I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I was up in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, you don't know what that... shit. You <laughs> ain't got no <laughs> children, Marcus. <laughs> You can't say an aborted baby nobody saw. <laughs> did you keep the baby when they took it out to see it? No, man. But Before the, they took it out, did it say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, did you see little doorknob? Come on. <laughs> I know them, your kids' heads was busting pussies open. Oh, <laughs> my God. They all had to see right. They all C-section. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! At least they was conceived. Like a... Oh, they had to stress them motherfuckers. That monkey oh. is. Marcus, oh. Marcus, be like, this that passion. <laughs> this bird be like. We gonna make a song about I ain't got no kids. Oh. <laughs> Marcus, oh. proud of that abortion. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That girl told else's. you she was having an abortion to make you feel better oh, about yourself. Oh, my God. Homie, you are, you are past your prime of making kids. No, no not I ain't. At This is now the that time you're supposed to make That I disagree kids. with. See, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas are having kids prematurely uh-huh. and think it's, that, that's appropriate. Y'all think that's when you're supposed to have exactly. kids. Exactly. Believe you me, I got have, sweated. I'm supposed to have kids. I'm I got prepared. sweated the same way, Marcus. You think I don't notice the weirdo situation that's going on over here? What? You ain't got no kids. But you 30 what, four? Oh yeah. my God, so what? Hey, how old are you? 30. You ain't got no kids, right? Not yet. No, wait, wait, Abe, hey, so wait. no kids crew. All right. Oh my God, he's, he don't need- hey, Nail. Nail. 26. He 26. Ooh, tell him about it, man. So tell everybody him, man. else. Listen, man. We Corey, Corey, we when did like you have? We ain't like you niggas that grew up and just didn't give a damn. We, we responsible kid, today, man. How old were you when you had your first We kid? got some sense, man. Come on, Corey. Man, I'm from the motherfucking streets. How we, old were you? We skeet you, up in them. How old were you yeah. when your first child was born? I'm from the born. motherfucking streets. We mm. skeet up in them. How old were you when your first child was born? We skeet up in them. He ain't saying. See? He's not yeah. saying. Yeah, how old was you when you had the first time? I was working at Kentucky Fried Chicken fucking my manager. How old were you? I don't know how old I oh, was, 19. You got, you got the manager pregnant? Yeah. Fuck yeah, nigga. I'm a motherfucker. I've been fucking pussy for... I've been fucking pussy so long, though. Because Nail said anybody... He, he's, Nail said well, he didn't have any head. kids, and I he said he's head. responsible. <laughs> so that means anybody else that has kids, un- no, like Corey, is irresponsible. <laughs> No, not ill ain't responsible. It's just not ill got people to answer to. Look at that thing right there. You see that thing? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a water bug. No, it's not. Is that a cricket? Is it a Look cricket? At cricket. She's she ready to eat it. Look. No, I'm gonna <laughs> I wanna catch it and save it. I'd save it for later to eat. Is that no no no, don't kill it, Phil. Is that a is that a cockroach or a cricket? Oh, yeah, we go call ahead. Water bug. Yeah, you can kill him. Stomp him out. D is oh, yeah. discriminating against the black <laughs> insects. Oh, yeah. brother. So you don't Stop. eat them. Oh, Nail, you bogus. You killed it. That's Abe. I mean, uh, Abe, I mean, 
Hey, no wonder you ain't got no kid. But watch, if you don't smash it all the way, he's gonna get up and start moving. Okay, because they keep moving. So you don't eat them, huh? Hell no. They got protein too. Though. Yuck. Ooh. They don't taste great. Back to they don't taste great. <laughs> she didn't try it. Of course I have. She didn't try it. That's why he ain't got kids. It was fried, okay? It was fried. <laughs> oh my Somebody say my father had one at 54. <laughs> I believe you. So, but Marcus, Marcus is at an age where if he could have gotten somebody pregnant, I think he would have. No, That's man, I don't see so. man. Listen, man, you underestimate me, man. I let you. I just let you underestimate me. Mm. Let you feel however you feel. Think however you think, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. he is in the same boat. He's 26. He's eight years younger than you. But he says he hasn't had kids <laughs> because he's responsible. He did I tend that. to believe Nail more. Want me to tell you why? Because he doesn't sweat like you. It's something oh, wrong brother. with your body. I think it's something oh, wrong with you. God. I ain't gonna lie. I hope that you can have kids, but I think something wrong with you. He be talking all that shit. Corey, you this, you that, he, he, he. But mm. your skeet game has been rejected. You got to wear them big ass chains because them little ones, you swat your neck swallow it. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I want to wipe it off, all I got to do is rub it under your arm. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, I believe Nail just has been lucky enough not to get caught up. What? But you, Marcus, I think Nail, you be raw dogging. No, I can tell. Oh, my God. Dog. Shame on you, Nail. Everybody Careful raw dog. Careful at that oh, man, age. you don't be raw dogging like him, though. You don't raw Careful. dog. Why you say like him? You don't know what he do. You raw dog everything. Like you. you don't raw dog everything, though, Nail. <laughs> Okay, Ugh. just just the main uh, situation. Why are you making him say what what he wants you to say? God is blessing. Oh, night. So Everybody raw dog. God bless you. You only call Gunner real. Nah. Okay. He only what? I said he only called Gunner real. God mm. bless you. You got the text. Oh, they tried to tell you. Oh, thank God you, you didn't. You told her you get tested. Oh my oh, God, Nail said oh, he's, he's got the call. He don't need <laughs> Telling him that he needs to go get A lot get of people tested. get something, too, oh. while they out there. They just don't never admit it. Mm. I can't have any more, uh, Cheech. He said he'd give me a baby. I can't have any more. Oh, yeah, Darlene. Um, I'm done. That thing. Um, Shut your trap. What was that one movie you was in? <laughs> <laughs> Ricochet? Yeah, this is Ricochet. <laughs> Darlene, you did some background work? Background? I'm in a scene with Danzel. Who? How many people can say that? Yeah, kid. You, you in the scene with him? Yeah. In the scene mm -hmm. with him. Pull up in a car and everything. Yeah, Denzel. Uh, I hope y'all did one now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Haters. Well, wait, well, you better not do Haters. no scene eating some watermelon and stuff. <laughs> 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 I ain't going to do you. That's it. I was That's like, just, what? Is that what you but did I was pregnant at the house? time. I was we pregnant. We ain't eating no watermelon that scene. Out You can't tell, but I was pregnant. That's what they call so what, the movie. Is it about still in watermelon? Yeah. Well, it's a heist of watermelon. It's the most ghetto and shit you can think of. That's how they want it. But it's a movie. If they offered you a movie, the movie I was in was okay. It's a little, little tiny tidbit. And, and Nail, and I busted. believe Nail just been lucky. Yeah, be careful, Nail. I believe Marcus got health gland problem. No, I don't think so. Don't listen. Man, to when I have my little one, man, you I'm, I'm, you gonna be first nigga I call. Don't don't no don't make him Godfather. Don't make him Hell Godfather. No. Hell okay. I don't make that nigga no Godfather. Uh -huh. Who gonna be the Godfather? Buka Bone. <laughs> Come here, little boy. Hi. <laughs> Come here, little boy. Your big head. Your cousin would be a good one. See. Buka Bone over yeah. here. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm saying like having babies is something that. I just feel like healthy men can't avoid. If you healthy, hey Phil. Uh oh. When you had your first son, you know what age you was? My first son? Yeah. Corey on here praising their responsibility. 27? Oh shit. You was kind of responsible too. Uh, my daughter at 21. Your daughter at 21? Yeah. Oh, so Same. you had one at 20. That's the youngest? Yeah. I mean, that's oh, the, the oldest. oldest. So you oh, had a yeah, baby yo. when you was 21. That's city life. Abe, why you ain't got no fucking kids? Abe, you knew I'm going to start following you, right? It's called timing. Perfect timing. In about time. three weeks, I'm going to have more time. I am going to follow you for three days. I'm going to have food in my car. I'm going to just wait it out. He's the worst. No, the right ones. Don't worry, Abe. Don't you rush. You brought one girl to the show one time. 
<laughs> what happened with that? You ain't ever, you ain't hit that pussy, did you? She he, was look at he's he's actually blushing because he he's not. He don't tell you everything. He be telling me Abel Wild Boy. That girl came in this show. He know you gonna tell Abe her. Abe must have told her, I'm the CEO up here. That she was sitting around here like she runs shit. I was like, who is that bitch? Uh oh, you did not. <laughs> I didn't say that loud, but oh. that's what my mind was thinking. <gasps> she with Abe. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> you have fun you still right talk now. You to her on the phone? FaceTime and all that? Oh. Oh, you still in touch oh. with her? Hey, hey. You ain't even hit the pussy yet, Abe. Oh, God, don't, don't let him know, Abe. Not in a while. You ain't never hit that pussy, Abe. I be knowing. Oh, he's a he player. Said, which girl? He's a player. <laughs> it's only been one girl. <laughs> I don't want to put him on the spot. He ain't hit that pussy, though. Well, why you act like we got a clock? Like we, I know, guys don't have a clock. You can have a baby right now. No, I it's can't. gonna be ugly though. But you no, gonna have, it's gonna have, it's gonna have look, that little uh, old. You gonna man have some face. hair though. It's gonna have that old man face you gonna though. Have, you me. It's gonna look like a gerbil coming out there. You moment. don't know when it comes to kids, it's kind of a crapshoot. When you said, "Oh, he's gonna have hair though," could could come have a from, brown the, from the woman's side. If it's a if it's a boy, I don't fuck ball here though. Oh God, it has nothing to do with how they look. Well, those let me take that Those back. genetics are pretty. Let me take you know, that back. That's not true. I, I done did some weirdo shit, but I'm saying, I would not try to breed. I'm, I'm arrogant now. I can't have a baby with a motherfucking uh, liquor store looking bitch. You'd still want more kids at your age, Corey? See, I don't like when guys do that. It's like, um, you still want more kids? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm a man. I'm oh, you. my God. You cursed. Is that so? You gotta, you, gotta, you, you have. So you what? Have, I, you, I didn't say I never do. I just said I do it when it's appropriate. Well, how many kids you got well, that you know? I'll about? tell you in a second. You cursed mm. with having to take care of the baby. And most women don't do that. Wait, most what? women will kill it for they have it. Look, most women dude. will kill it for they have it. So somebody it's get, called abortion. You get somebody pregnant at your age, it's going to be Benjamin Button all over again. The old baby, like you yeah, said. Yeah. Anybody at your I age. I come from a strong Don't line, do it. Don't sorry. do it. Ain't Boy, no fruit yeah. booties at my family throwing, reunion. He's going to want to try and throw the ball at you. You ain't be able to get it. At my family reunion, it'd be old country ass Alabama niggas. They looked that, at them in their can't 20s. Dress. Ooh. Can't dress. <laughs> ain't no wet under the arm. Gators I'm, I'm arm waiting on that sweat. motherfucker. Yeah. I got to start oh, letting Marcus they talk, they talk snake more. Skin, they had snake skin shoes with jogging suits on. They just like your ass. Gator roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Corey got some shoes on right now. He got a wheel on the bottom of it. That's right. It pops yeah. up. Yeah, got the wheel that pops out on the bottom of it. Look at him. Right. I don't give a fuck. Big, thick okay. ass. Oh, my got some God. Brats. Yeah, Look out, Vic. Turn it to the <laughs> side. <laughs> Wait. Brats. <laughs> Ew. Oh. What's the name, oh. um, D? Brats. Are they? What's yeah, the name, Brats? Are they Brooks? Brooks. Oh, Brats. Balenciaga. Aren't now, those? Ed, look them up. But aren't they those on the so, website right now. Aren't those so uncomfortable? Look them up. That nigga got Ninja Turtle feet on his... <laughs> And it probably cost Balenciaga eight dollars to make that shoe. <laughs> what you said, probably. Yeah, because that's usually what happens with those all those high end things. They people get all excited. They're like, for them uh, glasses either, but you need them. Oh, brother. Now, back to the motherfucking. Go ahead. Kid they shit. got you. They got you good with those shoes. You motherfuckers. We got three young motherfuckers in here with no kid. Thank goodness. So you I've guys. been noticed that something wrong. No, bring them when you're ready. Bring but what's them wrong them. in the world where the men don't want no kid? What's wrong? Why motherfuckers don't want their future through you, bitch? Not right away. Oh, my yeah. God. That's the problem. It, ain't, it don't matter right away. Why motherfuckers don't want no type of connection with you? Can you tell me? You got one you child, go. right, D? Yeah. You had him when you was how old? 25. And I got shunned by my family because being Mexican, they started making fun of me at like past 19. They what were like, mean? it's the what? opposite. It's because they were like. It ain't the best, though. No. Hmm? Be, because they wanted me, the they wanted me to have kids way earlier than that, and I was like, "What? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ready. I see what everybody else goes you through." You kept one at 25, right? I kept my son, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. 
And aren't you glad? Ice said. is cool. He look, he adores that. Like ain't about to be. You know, I, 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 I can meet a bitch right now that probably be perfect. You ain't got <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not yet. Don't let me. It'd probably be perfect to have a baby with, but I just take I'm your like, time. Oh, I'm cool. I'm chilling right now. Take your time. Let me get right me together here. real quick. Let me get me together real yeah. quick. I might, I might start next year. You don't never know with me. Mark, is something know. wrong. And when you find out for sure, I want you to be like, Corey told me something was right. Well, when Mark three here, when Mark three. But you got, you've had a full on checkup though, right? Huh? I mean, just not not being on the funny side or at all. Have you not ever had like questioning a question? No, I'm just saying though. Have you ever had a full on physical? Like that, you like had a physical book no book. full on. See, not just a little old cough, cough. Do you keep your cell phone by your ball. You keep yeah. it in your pocket, in the front pocket. Man, y'all ain't finna sit here and try to tell me I ain't, I can't have no children. I do you can't wear? Have do you wear tight, tight, tight underwear? No, I don't want All no tight underwear. You take hot baths. Yeah, I take hot baths. Ooh. All I'm saying is. Man, D, get on out of here, man. No. D need to stop. I'm <laughs> <here>. Oh me! <laughs> oh my God! Here, hey. oh here's this one. Wow. I need to stop. I'm looking out for him. I'm okay. He too tired they tried himself. Oh. <laughs> That's a good yeah. one, he's stupid. The motherfuckers was like, go, pull, pull. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now. That Boy Scout nut. <laughs> too exhausted. Marcus, Marcus is Thank gone. Thank God. Marcus is gone. We're going to pray for Marcus to have kids or be able to have kids. At some point when he's ready, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm going to bring him to the show when he comes, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shouldn't, he, should, shouldn't even have age on there. You should have certain uh, parts in life. Like, when should a guy have a kid? When he's finally got himself together, when he's got savings, when he's got a home. I mean, you could have different things, but I'm just Man, saying. Man, if you wait till you get some money to have some kids, you ain't going to never have no kids. That's not the truth. It's just ideal. It'd be great to. <laughs> when did you get money, Cole? How, what age was it? I ain't got no money. I'm here to serve the Lord. <laughs> Look, he, all his money is in them shoes. Look, the kids are excited for those shoes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> his kids are like, all right. So it don't matter. You was going to be selfish either way. So that, it didn't matter when you had kids. That's right. God damn it, I got shit to do. Well, I ain't going to be selfish, though. It's not my job. It ain't selfishness, Marcus. You are not capable of having one and been playing it off. Uh, and it's time to go ahead and get it off your chest and admit it. All right. All right, my pop out now. I don't want him then. You this? got a beater skeeter. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids you got, Cole? Three. You got three that you Two of the possible. And how many are you close to? So <laughs> one? Wait, so 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 one girl, two boys, or two girls, one boy? I think it's one girl, two boys. He's got a floater. What's your youngest? There's one out there. 20, 21, something you like that. Yeah. Hold on, so you got She's one. She's that young? Wait, 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 wait. So you got one in the middle of, of, of the two of them? No, it's one about 32. That's, I think. That's the floater. He's not that's sure. That's the possible. That's the one yeah. when I was fucking my manager at Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> He's, I ain't never <laughs> met the nigga. I don't know him. <laughs> He's got a little baby bucket, little little Kentucky bucket floater. I, I know he out there, though. <laughs> we saw what? a picture of him. He kind of looks yeah, like him. Now, good. ask how many abortions. Oh, brother. Oh, he probably can't. You probably don't have that amount. Yeah, you probably would. Yeah, champion. yeah, he don't, yeah. yeah you 24 probably, of my babies have been he aborted. He don't know. He probably, got Guinness, he probably got the Guinness World Record. I abortion. got the Guinness World Record. Niggas be fucking. Them hoes killed my babies because they ain't know I was going to be the motherfucking leader of the 5150. Oh. I told you, bitches. Oh Hold God. fast. Let my seeds live. No, they just See? knew they weren't going to be able to push that head out. They were going to fuck themselves up. If it was his. It was Again, gonna life you never know. Situation Your baby going to come right out because it's going to be super wet. <laughs> it's going to be a life or death situation trying to push your baby out, nigga. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said, everybody say, look, you got to choose. Hey, you Dr. The Sinister, everybody did hit the bitch. The bitch was a bust down for the game. I got caught up because I was young, dumb, full of cum. Poor George says KFC stands for, uh, what did he say? The Kid, bitch fucked me two Kid nights in a row <laughs> in my prime when I was there young. 
I skied it up in there. It was all on top six. She was Wait, on it top. wasn't inside the restaurant, was it? That song, bonk, um, bonk. Chicken, Chicken. Chicken I forgot head. the name of that song. It was on the KFC. radio. KFC. Chicken, Chicken. It's a Teddy Pendergrass song. I never forget it was on. Um, shit, I forgot the name of that song. I want to know the name of that song. Because I kept listening to it while I was smashing. Oh my. Two nights in a row, she took me to their house when I was young and dumb enough to go to a man's oh, house. Thank God it wasn't there. She was married. The <gasps> she was married. She was married? Yeah, she was married. So the, so the dude claimed the baby? Yeah. Oh, my God. He yeah. probably didn't know until that motherfucker started saying, hey, dad. <laughs> uh, he didn't know as soon as it came out. It started saying, Trina. <laughs> so have you seen him? Have you seen what the, the baby said when it came out? You funky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. You, you, you seen the baby? I seen Wrong. pictures of him. You've when, seen when, him. When, I saw it. Recent? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Somebody I don't know. If, I can't say it's mine for sure, but Somebody I saw the pictures. Picture, I was yep. like, there you go. Yeah, he's it got strong like, features, like yo. Oh, he must have got a big ass face. <laughs> Whatever he got. <laughs> he's worried about the big shit on niggas. <laughs> <laughs> ain't hard to tell oh, if it's cold or It ain't hard to tell. Oh. What is that fucking? The song? Yeah, Which I'm going to find that song. Go here. Go. Hit him. Hit what? Hit it. Oh. No, 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 not the song. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh shit. Cancel, Stop. Cancel, 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 cancel. Lower the volume, lower the volume. Turn it off. That ain't what I meant to press. Oh, my God. He don't know what to do. I'm going to find this shit. What is that song that was on while I was fucking Vicky? Come on and go with me. Uh, shit, I can't. Could have been. That is a jam. Come on over to my place. Come on over to my you place. You were playing Christopher Walker's <laughs> jam. Come on to KFC. <laughs> hey, come on to KFC. <laughs> come on to KFC. Grab Get. my plate. Get the family bucket. Come on, fix me a damn plate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find that shit. I forgot the name of that song, That's, but anyway. Uh. Yeah! Like I said, what up, baby? What up, man? Hey. Devin Macker in the house, goddamn. I forgot on them flip flops and shit. No, but like I said, man, I had, uh, it was good times. I was scared. Then Vicky stopped fucking me and fuck with the other nigga in the shop. And that's who she married in a man? No, she was the type of bitch who cheated on her husband. She was a, she was a funky bitch. It was Eddie Levert, Cole. What, what, what was it? It was a song by Eddie Levert. Oh, what? You know what? He's trying to be funny. Oh, I see what you're no, doing. No, I can't <laughs> think of the name of that song. That motherfucker kept playing. Why? Not Somebody love said, TKO. It <laughs> wasn't turned off no. the light. It was one of his newer ones. God <laughs> damn it, I'm so bad. I got to find that shit now. <laughs> It's in my library. Hold on. What the fuck? I want to. I want to know what how, how, this, how this nigga living. Whoever he is. How uh, who living? Uh, the uh, uh, the 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 possible. I heard he had got into some trouble. Oh, he locked up. Mm -mm. I don't know if he locked up. Oh, love is the power. Who's that? Love man? is the power. You was in the, in the making love to that chicken head. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, oh. He yeah, yeah. was in the making love to the chicken head. <laughs> Back when I was a young nigga. I crossed uh, paths with Corey fish at Fox uh, Hill Mall. Well. He was really sliding by himself. Respect to him and all. Yeah, what up? I love 21 Media. Respect. Anyway. Nah, I mean, like, shit. So he's Latest, a manager at KFC. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Somebody say, I don't love you anymore. No, that's for them other hoes. That dude ain't kill himself. Nope, so didn't. But uh, anyway, the point I'm trying to make about all this shit is, man, if you can't have kids, you can't have kids. There's three young niggas in here. Marcus, you the elder out of all the young <laughs> niggas. You, Nail, and Abe ain't got no kids. You think I ain't noticed that? Thank goodness, you guys. I'm serious. I, I like that. I respect that. Uh, I Y'all the, the blank three MCs. That's oh the name my of this group. Three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing, nothing happening. <laughs> Ain't nothing, nothing. 
nothing happened. Break dance, dress it ass out of here. Y'all to skeet backwards crew. <laughs> hard eat. Yeah, motherfuckers be telling them girls, there's no need for your tubes to be tied. Cause I'm about to skeet in me. That's what y'all. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. now Marcus, get yourself checked out. You be sweating too hard. Look, you can't have somebody said I had a kid in 36. Two, no way. Your belly gonna be in the way, nigga. And are they, were they male or female? Off. Maybe. Somebody said, is Corey salty? Maybe. Tiffany Haddish brought the roaches? Maybe. <laughs> Corey had a plucky duck. What does that mean, nigga? But y'all niggas be coming up with some duds sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, man, y'all niggas, man, y'all got. I, I ain't gonna lie though. I, I'd rather not. Start have... sleeping on your stomach, Marcus, so your spine. Oh can... my God, you, he's gonna. You start sleeping on your stomach so you can lose some weight, fat <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, give him some. He needs some milk, Marcus. I ain't gonna lie though. I'd rather be where milk. I am right now than have a bitch. No, you wouldn't. Uh, than have a bitch, uh, baby, by bitch at no, KFC you at nineteen. Uh, that that. Impossible. That don't That's sound. Terrible. You That's deserve sad. appealing right there. That's you sad. deserve to see something that come out of you with hair. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Stupid. I'd be mad as hell at myself right now. If it's 19 KFC, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Come go with me, Teddy P. <laughs> uh, 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 I know uh, a uh. guy that had a child in his 90s. That's a cap. And it, hey, man, fuck with me, man. The hat's going to be on the website. They should have been on there now. Fuck with me, nigga. This how I be on the airplane, just like this. <laughs> Yeah, don't interrupt him. Don't disturb him. I'm telling you, man, them pilots be knowing me now. I done had three pilots. 5150. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them was Spirit Airlines, but it was a pilot. Woo, you better man. <laughs> He's stupid. That's why all the niggas work. Niggas work in Spirit. My no shit. cap in Egypt, anyway. They should just name it the, uh, the Black Airlines, man. That's, <laughs> These niggas stupid, man. <laughs> Will Smith ain't kill himself. Somebody say, Will Smith ain't kill himself. Will Smith's son didn't kill himself when he said, Tyler Creator is my boyfriend. No, he didn't care, so but now Tyler, that would have been a different story. You don't think you... somebody that, that, that uh, planned on killing themselves could ever be a productive citizen? Why are you asking me? Yo, set up questions. Who be talking Are to you Are you okay, like that? Marcus? I know. Marcus now you got questions. me a little worried. Uh, uh, you don't, uh, you don't like going to school, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's your question, nigga. Where you no, come up with this be, shit? Because you be saying this shit. Like, you be saying, what did you just ask me again? I said, you don't, so you don't think somebody that planned on killing themselves before could ever become a productive citizen? You need to get a job as a newscaster where they be setting up, asking people them set up questions. So what I'm supposed to say, no, they can't be productive. That's goofy shit. Do you think that? Yeah. You think that I'm somebody- I'm saying because I-, because I, I, don't, I, I don't understand. You think somebody who, who, who say they want to kill themselves can be productive? Yeah. Okay, if good. You're talking about to be productive, they, you know what I mean? It's, it's happening. If they don't kill it's, themselves. It's happening. Who, who did it happen to? Huh? Huh? Good. <laughs> <laughs> God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, These people mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. changed their life around, mm -hmm. they just had, they went through some downtime. Who? Huh? Who? Oh, man, I'm pretty sure it's plenty of people that it. I think he knows say. someone, huh? He's not saying. Oh, I'm like, who God. the fuck is he oh, talking about? Is it, man? I'm pretty sure it's plenty private, of people Marcus, that said they were going to kill themselves. Oh, God. They're doing great in life. But they would say it, like, just outright to you? Or they would... No, they, they probably say it publicly. It's somebody else. Mm. Cause you just hear saying right now, instead of I speaking. I probably know some factual. people. Who? How many times I got to do the Woodsy out? Who, <laughs> nigga? See, I ain't put. I don't be putting people business out there like you. You motherfucking crazy, <laughs> nigga. This motherfucker, ain't, you got it, man. Look, I dropped Doughboy name with no bad intentions, but we was talking out loud in front of the place. A lot of people heard it. And I know Doughboy ain't finna kill himself. He just wants some attention. I told him if he lose some weight, he can fuck hoes. He light skin. And he got hair. Nigga, light skin don't mean shit no more. Hey, man, he, I, I ain't said, I, I'm just saying hoes like to breed with red niggas. But he obese. So 
If he lose weight, he probably won't want to kill himself because he'll have hoes. He said he's doing personal training now. Now you joking on no, the he, nigga. No, he did say that. He said he started no doing No boy ain't said he doing he personal did training. He did say he started doing personal training. I thought he said that. He's he doing personal. It's motivated. It's just personal t- burping <laughs> classes. Let me show you how you burp. <laughs> no boy, stop telling people you a trainer, dog. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus said that shit. No, he did say that. He was outside talking about Get the money. fuck out of here. He ain't tell nobody he personally trained and nobody. He said he started personally training, baby. Get Teddy, the fuck out Teddy of here. Teddy was going to be his first. Uh, <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I think he said Teddy was going to be his first. Who uh, said they're a personal trainer? No one finna start doing personal training. Get the fuck Why? out of here, nigga. Y'all motherfuckers. Does he have a nice body? Let me see. I'm going to look this up. <laughs> He was real big at one time. Then he lost a lot of weight. So I know he got the extra skin when he get naked, and that's probably why he want to kill himself. He looked like that one um, little squirrel to jump out the trees and be <laughs> flying down. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dope boy here bigger than mine, eh? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. You don't know who Dope boy is? No. Uh-uh. He a cool dude. He was a wilding out with me and shit. Look him up. No, he is, for real. I'm, you, who's was outside? You probably heard him too. You just fucking, you just fucking with him. No, I'm not. I'm not just fucking with him. You the one said he was trying to be a personal he trainer. He didn't say that outside. He, he didn't said. say that, Marcus. You lying. All right. I know what I heard outside. I don't be lying, Co. I don't know why you. Why you he think said I'm he's gonna be a shit. personal gainer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not a personal trainer. Y'all motherfuckers cold blooded, man. <laughs> Stupid, dog. <laughs> he got a straight leg and stomach, but other than that, because he lost a lot of weight. He got to get a get sewing kit with that some of that Buffalo Bill thread. Come on, Buffalo uh, Bill thread. Yeah, uh, what's the name of that movie? The one with the with the hole when he threw the guy down in that hole. <laughs> what is that? It's Head of a lector. You know, Buffalo Bill was sewing human skin together. It when he stood and up and, and tucked his dick in, it was like... And he was rubbing the lotion. You think he had some lotion it or something? It rubs the lotion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on his skin. That's what he said. Yeah, like, it rubs the lotion on his skin. Oh, my God. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. Damn it, that was perfect, Corey. Shit. You got to work on your voices. That was pretty good. <laughs> Damn it. Hell no. Oh I'll God. pay it. I'll pay that big neck. He can tell Don't personally train oh. it. I'll pay for it. I want him to you personal can. train me. <laughs> and I know he ain't going to work me that hard. I can handle his shit. <laughs> you get it? It takes 20 minute rest. All right, nigga, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minute rest. <laughs> Not 20 seconds. <laughs> God, Jesus, God. Yeah, you need some of that Buffalo Bill thread. Get some of that thread when he was sewing the bitches, <sighs> bitches together to make a human jacket. He said you're going to take two in a minute, man. Precious. Oh, Precious, are you okay? <laughs> was she a big, fat person? <laughs> Yeah, that guy's voice was creepy though, huh? That was, yeah, that was that half the cool. half the whole part of that. That's character. a good actor. Oof, he's creepy. <laughs> Corey got all them keys like an old man. Yes, he I does, do. Yes. I lock I'm up a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Wait. Bob the Builder, ass nigga. <laughs> do you use all those keys, Corey? Yeah, I use yeah. all these keys. That niggas not use all oh, the keys. Oh my god. Don't make them come out there with probably, all the goodies and uh-huh. shit. That nigga still probably got the keys to uh, KFC from back in the day. Nigga. Oh, apples and water. There you go. Sir. Apples and water. That what you drinking? Yeah, that oh, late you night. The shit. That late night, the, night craving gonna mm-hmm. come in, boy. You shit. can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna give in? You can't hoop with these niggas right here. <laughs> anyway, fuck it. I was just talking All shit. Right, no. All right. <laughs> now I'm gonna watch motherfucking Hannibal Lecter tonight. Oh my god! What, no, what was the name of the movie? Silence of the Lambs. There you go. Was it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. Give me Clarice. that bucket, Gladys. You trying to do your shit? Uh-oh. Do your Nigerian Hannibal Lex. No, here we go. Here we go. Claudi! <laughs> Lilies? <laughs> mm. 
And uh, you out of here, Mac? Yeah. See you later, All right, man. Boy. There it is. Okay. Keep at it, boy. Okay. Oh, right. up, up, up. That's how you uh, have kids, Marcus. Uh, you got drink water and apple. You ain't got no kids, man. Oh, you got three kids. <laughs> I said you crazy. Uh oh, that yeah, I'm seeing that. Look, D. What? The phone? <laughs> huh? His youngest. Yeah. His girl, his daughter, 18. She going to TSU. Woo! See. He had kids. You. Them, well, go back. Go back. What you about? Fifty five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go back. Will you tell this nigga when you sweat like that something wrong with you? Oh my god. I this can't. nigga don't believe it. Low sperm count. Ooh, <laughs> Low sperm count, nigga. Don't I'm freak you. Marcus out. Marcus be talking all that yeah. in shape yeah. shit. That passion shit. You got low rep account. Shut up, Marcus will like, high and I don't even get high. He's a <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no. Anyway, fuck it. We're going to stop talking about motherfuckers who are trying to kill themselves and personally train. Motherfuckers, go on, get the D bullshit. Wait, I'm looking him up. You looking up Doughboy? Yeah. What's oh, there's his up? tattoo. What he said? You see him? Mm-hmm. You see the tattoo? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't look that big right there. Is he a big guy? Not as much, Not as big as he used to be. He used to be real big. He used to be like on the Fat Albert side. Oh, of the he's forty-three. Okay. We got hmm. love for you, dope boy. We just talking shit because you told me you wanted to kill yourself and you still here. Let me tell you how I know you're still alive. I feel that you is gonna hear about this from a motherfucker who gonna misrepresent <laughs> and be like, Corey was talking fucked up about you. He's on the uh, Craig Pack side of the game as far as color and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what you saying? He Craig Fax complexion? <laughs> yeah. Shade. Your soul for real laugh be showing sometimes. Yeah. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so? I wonder if they and? do like uh, hair reduction surgery. You know you're going to be sore tomorrow. For what? When you did that, you did a little that'd neck do, exercise. You, you, stuck justice, it, you stuck it out hair too far. Hair reduction surgery? That'd it's going to be justice. sore. I got on my 5150 hat. You can't see my hair today, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He hiding that noggin. That's a stump. That's called a stump right there. Oh, he did lose a lot of weight. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. You know, you know, you Cor know what? Cor 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 oh, did too. That's Cor you know, Cor he looks good right Marcus, here. Marcus, every time you bust a nut, your nut be like, no, no way. Uh-uh. Forget it. There was nothing I can do. I tried to relax. Forget oh, just my God. Cor we don't get that old ass shit you talking about, man. That's old Fresh Prince. Will Smith sperm will slap your ass, nigga. Uh-oh. You done right now, go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. This is a part of the show that for the first time I'm going to because I just oh, feel wow. like it's necessary. Uh -huh. <laughs> part of the show, goddammit, that um, has abortion aspect to it. These new talk Talk about... about Ooh, shit. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, we just wanted to say, I guess, congrats. Yeah, I guess congratulations is appropriate for this story. Um, to, what's the brother's name? What is his name? Sorry. I you was don't know your shit, I, I, Today, I actually admitted. Just I told, open it up. I told so Nail and them. It. Shut up. I told Nail and them. I was running late. So anyway, it's Michael, Michael Ma Mangum. It's M A N G U N. Michael Mag Mangum. With his, uh, he's pictured here with his attorney. Anyway, he sued Walmart. And if you look up that video, you would, you would be excited for him because he, he was seriously harassed. So he stuck to his guns and he sued Walmart um, after he said he was racially profiled. If you, you can look up the video. It is just, it is just, mm, it gets on my nerves. The video of Marcus Mangum? Yes, Walmart. Man who sues Walmart. Um, and he was just there shopping for a refrigerator light bulb. Um, he was profiled and harassed by an employee. And apparently even the cops had admitted that this employee called too much. Like he was known, this big, this big dude, white dude. And he would, he would call too much and exaggerate stories on people, majority black people. But this Michael was not having it. So he sued Walmart and just won a record 4.4 in damages. Billion? So, million. Oh. But all he was was just a rat. But he got 4.4 million. <clears throat> Stuck to it. So they, he, he won. If you look his story up. And there's a 
great picture because him and that lawyer, boy, they're smiling from ear to ear. You know, that lawyer's smiling. So, yeah, congrats to him. And uh, as far as entertainment side, uh, want to say... Um, Fuck Walmart. Well, he, want, he yeah, the way they treated him. That guy, anyway, I wonder if he was fired. I got a homeboy I saw in Atlanta on Sunday. He's 48 and his son five months. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. There's guys in their 60s, 70s that That's have kids. That's what I'm kids. trying to tell them, man. I don't yeah, like. I don't time. like that though because they're not really going to be around or fully fully available to you the know child. How long that man gonna live? Come on, man. man a man, sixty man, seven year old man, though is not like having a dad in their 30s, 40s, or fifties even. So man, it depends on how you're taking care of yourself. Mm, okay. Okay. Seventy years old. Yeah, but shape, mm, though, yeah. Okay. I'm not talking about even the movement. I'm talking about just a lot of times kids are disturbed by that, like having older. You're not older in great parents. shape, nigga. Your arms are wet through a <laughs> sweatshirt you know, right you know, now. Sometimes kids get disturbed by having old parents because they get made fun of. No, DC, How do you sweat DC these suit jackets, Dick? Yeah. I think DC Young Fly parents like 70. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's not a lot of people that can actually. DC be Young okay Fly with parents are 70? Yeah. They're, they're not like, they're not excuse like me. 70s. Excuse me. Ow. Look. And You're DC, pulling that down in my leg. Yeah. DC, in this, he talks about it on stage. He no. Because like, he like in his 20, his late 20s. Well, my grandmother had, uh, I have an uncle who's two years Is younger. Is that your hoe? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, you want to wait and I'm hang out? You, you be... Your shit ain't happening because. Sperm is coming up from under your arm right now. I'm just saying you don't really want to be an old, old you elderly You nutting under the arm right now, nigga. You nut under your neck. I can't with these two. Oh, God. Bitch. Them little T-Rex arms you got, nigga. Well, if you don't get your nutty arm ass out of here, nigga. Your arms don't match your body, nigga. Boy, you you get your it. nutty arm ass out of here. Somebody said DC Young like looked like 60 years old. You know DC what? DC Young, I do got the mashed in pug face. Oh, you stop. <laughs> I can joke about DC Young, fly, because he ain't no motherfucking nigga who gets sits still. No, he's not. Like the rest mm-hmm. of these motherfuckers. He just go gang on me back. God damn mm-hmm. that's, what, that's what niggas do, motherfucker. I ain't got nothing bad to say about my nigga, but his face is mashed in, because that shit DC. And also, uh, some, some new things to check out. Um, Jizz pit. That's what they call the Oh, arm. no. You <laughs> got bust down armpits. Who said that? He got bust down Somebody armpits. Somebody just said that right above that. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> anyway, new new stuff to check out uh, on, on new flicks. It's still nutty arm ass out of here. On, on Netflix, uh, the release of Day Shift. I checked that out the other night. That's the new age vampire action Action type Dolph flick Lundgren went starring uh, Jamie like Foxx, Megan Good. She plays his wife and Snoop Dogg. He plays in a vampire hunter. It was uh, it was pretty decent. It was pretty good. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I like the cast. Yeah. Great, great, great cast. Also, Kevin Hart has a new release called Me Time with um, Mark Wahlberg. That's on Netflix. Um, and you then you got arm spits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not with these guys. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Somebody said the, the, that guy's attorney looks like the guy from you Back to the Future. Uneven ass teeth you got over there. Um, nigga. Me? Yeah, nigga, you got little kid teeth in the back. Boy, you, you wish you had yeah, a pretty smile teeth. like me. Those are real teeth. They got, yeah, those are real teeth in the back. He got, <laughs> you, we, you got another nigga teeth in the front. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. That's okay. Can't they got guys. choppers in the front. Nigga. Anyway, also Kevin Hart has a new release called "Me Time" with Mark Wahlberg. Put a um, condom on your arm, nigga. <laughs> congrats to the, uh, both cast. First cast, congrats to the, the cast of Curb Your Enthusiasm. They got a season twelve, and the only reason I say Curb Your Enthusiasm is because uh, JB Smooth is on that cast. So they got another season, season twelve. So good for him. Get that money, JB. And also congrats to the cast of The Shy. They just, like yesterday, got the news that they got another season. So they'll be filming their sixth season later this year. Get that money. Good for them. Um, Also, something to check out that's in the theaters is the movie Beast, starring Idris Elba. Um, uh, Yeah, it's, yeah, I I don't know. I'll probably just check it out just because. Um, But also. Spoil the ending. I saw it. You actually saw the movie? I saw it. Uh, no How spoiler. did you see it? No spoiler. I'm, I'm going to go watch it. Nigga, I got bootleg action. I'm going to go watch it. You know he's fighting a lion in the movie. Oh, you, spoiler yeah. alert, you want people to plug their ears? I don't give a fuck. Plug your ear. In the end, you Uh-oh. ain't going to believe this. Oh, God. Do you know how the lion die? Oh, Marcus God. headlock it <laughs> with no shirt on. And it, and it that lion be like, oh, <laughs> ah, ah, I can't. Ah. He 
died like the Wicked Witch of the. Tell the truth, nigga. You you Water. had a you had a head on collision with it and it died, nigga. That's what happened. Uh, <laughs> you rushed that motherfucker like a fool. <sighs> anyway, uh, speaking of Idris, um, he has recently uh, made the news for another story, not just promoting the movie, but he was on the on a podcast doing an interview promoting the movie, but. What went viral, so to say, was the fact that he said that he doesn't believe in nepotism, which, remember, we... we What's nepotism? That was one of our words the other week. You don't remember that? The one no. about... It's when people... You said it? Yeah. That's why I remember. No, I said it was word of the week. No, I, I'm... It, it's when they... It's when you take advantage of your family uh, and you hire them. Like, if you... If your son was one of the engineers and all these other engineers wanted the job, but that's your kid. So, <laughs> nepotism. He said he doesn't believe in it and... To, to prove it, apparently his real daughter, oh, she, she's gorgeous. His real daughter read for the movie and didn't get the part. So everybody was sweating him like, oh, you could have helped her. You know, Ice Cube's son acts and blah, blah. I'm like, what? So he was like, mm-mm, no. I told her, you want to be- You got a picture of his daughter? On, I thought, yeah. so, so nepotism is, is favoritism? Basically, but with family and the connections, like people that you know, you can get jobs. I thought you said it was like the like Trump's. I thought you, you just no, the opposite. no, I didn't know. You know what? Wet arm. That's why I is. said. That's why I said like Trump's kids, Trump's whole family. Oh, and I thought stuff you said if he was an engineer. Mm. Wet arm jism. What is that, Marky? Huh? Wet arm jism, not nepotism. Oh God. Wet arm jism. Oh God. Yeah. Burst ain't burst. Look See them if up. I have a picture. <laughs> of <laughs> birthday. Idris daughter. Oh, you can look that up, right, Nail? You wrong for what you did to Goldilocks, nigga. And it's the oldest, oldest one. She That's tried, his daughter. She read for the part. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> that actually looks like when she was younger. I saw one where she looks a little. I don't know if it's the same. You saw one, one without the makeup on. Um. She looked quite different than that, but I, I don't she know. She looked like a Down Syndrome Brandy. Oh, yeah, Lord. I will be Down Syndrome. I will. He is just she the worst. Oh, yeah, no. Kick your yeah. I saw Idris Elba one time going in the gas station on motherfucking, uh, uh, in Hollywood. That motherfucker was musty than a motherfucker. <laughs> That's what he said the last time when he said he ran into him. But I'll I'm tell like, you the man don't wear deodorant. He probably don't wear deodorant. You, but did you get close? You should Not close enough where I could have should have smelled How do you know it was him and not the gas station? That's what I was, you know. Oh my Cor God. Cor See, he's that, the worst. Mark, you know. Corey got that big ass nose so he could pinpoint wherever oh, it was. That's right. You know, oh, that my God. That motherfucker he, walked past. That nigga got an airport dog nose. You, he can detect anything. Oh. <laughs> it was a fly flying in the gas station and it flew past him. You know what that fly said? Hey! You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Idris. I don't think it was him. I he think ain't he was worried smelling. about me. He get that paper. He, he know I'm just joking. Station. He probably could take a joke. By but now he probably he don't wear deodorant. It's probably one of them. You know, some people would be in their religion. Thing? Some people just don't wear deodorant. Or, or it might not have been him. Just saying. Can I repeat that fly one more time? Hey! <laughs> Stupid. D, hold on. So, D, why you, why you didn't want to see the movie? Because you, you kind of was like, a, eh. I, it doesn't look like something I, I, I like desperately want to check out. Like, it looks great. Mm. It was a movie it, like this before. Well, what was the name of it? It was Michael Douglas was in it, I think. Like it, a, like. I, I, it was I, a lion in the jungle. There you go. Fucking people up. The yeah. Ghost in the Darkness or something like that. It's okay. the same yeah, movie. I don't know. It's yeah. a yeah. I mean, I'll probably yeah. go check it out, though. What happened when you see the lion? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, man, shoot that pussy <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. I'd probably still go see it. Bach, Bach, he gone. Um, also, the daughter of Notorious B.I.G., uh, she's, I believe, his eldest child, um, just made the news because she posted Who? her boy... The daughter of Notorious B.I.G. Okay, what's she do? Um, Is that right here? Yeah. She posted her boyfriend's $1 million bond after he was arrested, after he was, um, after he was arrested for an alleged hit and run in Queens, New York, if you saw the news recently. Uh, allegedly, he was, taken, he was taken into custody after three people were mowed down, again, allegedly, by his car, and that included a mother pushing a baby in a stroller, and they took off. The driver took off. So... But what made the news, what stood out to everybody was that she posted up his bond. He goes to court in October. I hope he goes. That's, big, that's if, notorious big daughter? Yeah, because you if not, what when you put your dick she's going to lose her house if he don't, I hope he shows up. you put your dick in, she'd be like, oh. You know what? I can't. You ain't going to say nothing about how she look, is you? 
What? You know, Diddy going Diddy gonna send them boys at you. They're gonna take that, take that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> talking about the gay getting raped and shit. I get oh, it, Mark. I can't. Uh. Take that, take that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. oh. That's how she sounds getting fucked. So I hope that oh. the, she makes sure he shows up for that case. <laughs> Killing myself. Oh. oh. It's oh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Blueface and his girlfriend are back in the news again. Who is Blueface? That's that couple that was fighting. She was swinging on him. He swung on her back. But in this particular Somebody incident, say her head shaped like a grill. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Okay, take her down, poor thing. They're gonna just start. Take going. it down. Uh, so oh! that's that couple that was fighting out in the in the public on the street. Uh, they're back in the news because apparently, well, he did not apparently he did say because he posted a, a video of him explaining what happened because people weren't too sure and they were quick to take certain sides. Um, and blame him. But in this particular incident that just happened, she ends up getting arrested. Um, but you can clearly see that she, he's just talking to her, saying that we need to get out of this place because she had stole his phone and was looking through it. And he was just talking to her, and she just swings on him twice, like in front of everybody. It's on camera. So. She, she looked like Zion See, that was Williams. like three weeks ago. This just happened last night. I just said again, they're oh. in the news again. Sort of. Yeah. He, can't hear. <laughs> he can't hear. He can't hear. But anyway, so yeah, so she Squirt got her. Squirt her, Squirt her, Mark. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, so. I mean, the thing to me is they, these. Say a head like they, Quagmire. They have a podcast. George, so they I have a huge you. following. They have a lot of youngsters that, you know, listen to them and follow them. So I don't oh. know. I mean, this couple. Oh, the couple you keep promoting? Uh-huh. So yeah, so I'm like they, they, you know. Mm, I hope he's kind. Of, I don't know. I hope he's kind of saying the right things. I don't know. What he's, about the bitch? What the bitch said? Well, she's arrested, so she ain't said anything. But I just oh, heard. I just up? yeah, they arrested her. Yes, but I just heard Wait, that today she got right, she bonded dude. out. She it was a fight out. between a man and a woman, and the bitch got arrested. <laughs> you clearly see her swinging on him. He's just talking to her. So again, it happened. He she hits him like twice. So you know why a woman hits you out the blue? Look at him. He got to look. That's the first one that was on video that they saw. Yeah, that was the first Why one. Why would a woman just hit you? There's no fear? Well, he, I he guess she like don't have any. That's, that's not right. Well, well he, they were I'm both. He's a man. He can beat her probably in a fight. But why she would, would she, beat his head, though. Why would she think to hit him? <laughs> it's crazy. I, like women who swing on me, I promise you, I promise you, Mm. We're going to fix that problem where you never swing on me again. Mm, 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 we don't mm. need the police involved. It's terrible, yeah. So I, you know, I, be, I tell the police I don't want to press no charges. What you saw was a we we that was a host. We did that for views. That's what I tell the police. Cool. Don't, don't take no, her to jail. Uh, that, that girl, I ain't no girl going to tap you. You got a weapon of mass destruction on your shoulders. Here we nigga. go. Mm, mm, mm. You got a wet <laughs> weapon though, nigga. <laughs> Uh-uh-uh. You can't hold nobody in a chokehold with them arms. Well, you you when couldn't you go it. to the MMA and try to headlock nobody there. Be like, Bleep. when you do this, sound like a nigga cocking a shotgun. Like, you. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> I know your bed be wet. <laughs> you like you like Sigourney Weaver and Aliens. You be waking up wet. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's man. called cold sweats, Mark. <laughs> man, fuck you in that motorcycle back chain you got on your neck, man. And last but definitely not least, uh, finally <laughs> some arrests are being made in the uh, Breonna Taylor case. My goodness. Um, four uh, police officers were taken in, what was it, like a couple weeks ago. Um, and also, as of recent, literally earlier today, an ex-officer uh, pled guilty to federal charges relating to Bri- Brianna's uh, killing and- because they had falsified, they have proof that they falsified the uh, search warrant. So in other words, had they not a falsified search warrant, she may still be alive. And she's, the person who did it, it's a, it's a white woman, ex-Louisville detective, she pled guilty to falsifying the search warrant. Bitches should never be detectives. Mm-hmm. Bitches should never make it to detectives. It's too much that? power for if you ever had an abortion as a woman, you should never be able to be a detective. Oh Lord. <laughs> that means you kill for nothing. Could you so look- if you're a detective, we know you're gonna do some dirt. You can't- bitch a detective and had an abortion. This bitch killed her own people. How the fuck is this bitch gonna make it to detective? 
Bitches should only write tickets and, and help parade control. Her own people. Okay, what are you talking police. about? I wonder if you can look up and She's see white. if a woman had abortions and how many she had. Can well, look it up. What do you mean? Can, is there a way you can look that up? No, they try not to keep in touch with that. But what's interesting... Because they don't want to embarrass like, the world. But Most hoes kill their kids. But what's interesting that you did say that, though, Marcus, about two, three months ago, there was a story that came out, but we didn't have time to cover it, where there was a... a the uh, Planned Parenthood system got hacked into, so they had everybody's records. The, for the entire, you can look that story up still. Hey, for I wanna, the entire I want to see the woman who would have had the most abortions. I wonder how many abortions It'd be she bitches had. that had five and six abortions, though, and that's uh, average. Oh, I know a bitch had six. That's average. I know I'll be waiting had, on the yeah. Margaret. Bitch, you had four with me! Oh, God. <laughs> God. I love to say that shit. It feels so good. Stupid. Like when this girl had a lot of abortions and shit. Kind of lose respect for him, too. It's just you don't never say nothing. Bitch, you could never love me. You kill kids, bitch. Hey. Anyway. That's the last right. sound in your stomach. for the, hey. mm -hmm. Right for the baby got snatched up. They should put Bluetooth speakers in bitch's stomach when they go to the abortion clinic. <laughs> Blah! <laughs> They be ready to get rid of yours. You sh you, you, yeah, hell yeah, I want to get rid of this. Hell yeah. What's, what's the dead baby sound? Gout! Gout. Sound like that fly. <laughs> <laughs> that fly that smelled Idris Elba. <laughs> hey! Well, he just slipped up, you think? That's why he said gout. <laughs> said gout. <laughs> they say Marcus got stress sweat. <laughs> when he first had on that jogging suit, I was like, that motherfucker's finna get wet to the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, how the fuck do you break through cotton on the jogging suit? <laughs> I don't know why I'm fucking with you man today. <laughs> Let me try to stop. Yeah. Okay, let's leave this. I been mean, I mean, on your ass, that's why you fucking with me today. <laughs> <laughs> you talk all that shit about motherfucker. Is my armpits you, wet, Mark? You been waiting no. you been wait till the show come back. I've been getting on your head. Wait a second. Tropic Thunder armpit having there. Sorry. Your pit ain't <laughs> wet, but. But what? My neck is wet? <laughs> I told you he got that wet neck. That's grease. No, nigga, that's, that's wet. That's grease. It ain't that's wet. That's moisture. If it was wet, I'd say, yeah, you got me. It's grease. Oh. He ain't, look, he, ain't, he ain't gonna admit it, y'all. <laughs> it was super shiny. He get wet up under okay. the dick. I'm making a wet sweat song for you. <laughs> I'm gonna make us wet. I ain't gonna make me. I make a song for real on your ass. Well, next week we gonna do. You do a song about me. I do a song about you. <laughs> right. Next week I'm making a wet nigga song about you, nigga. All right. I'm gonna have somebody help me uh, with a beat, fast beat. I'm gonna tear your ass up on the song. Sweaty Garden, that's gonna be the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> the Jungle Book, nigga, that's gonna be the Baloo. <laughs> anyway, nigga. I'm gonna come in, what it do, Baloo? Somebody say Grease from KFC. Fuck you, nigga. Oh, well, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no motherfucking sweaty neck, really. Oh, Y'all motherfuckers just make it. We don't know. Up. You already wiped it off that quick. Well, if I could wipe it off that quick, it wasn't wet. Wipe under his arm right now. <laughs> I bet your nail come on. Oh, my God. I can't with this one. <laughs> Shit. That's the acid old boy and RoboCop got poured on him. <laughs> Help me. Oh, God. He ain't never had no. He can't think of that tonight. Yeah. I see it. He blanking over there. You ain't never wear no turtle nigga. Yeah, motherfucker. You can't wear no damn turtle nigga. Nigga ain't no. Boy, you don't get your mother. Ain't no turtle nigga. You, you don't, don't look like Marcus. you shaved you wear, tonight. You wear elephant nicks. Or if you take that hat off, you'll be like Zoe was that day. You'll be mad as hell. If you take that hat off, he's he gonna do this. Can't with this one. You know what? I can't with this one. Oh my God! I don't want to laugh. You gonna take the head off? Take that chain off. Your neck gonna fall off, nigga. Yeah. No rapper can rap quite like I can. I take yeah. a muscle bound man and put his face in the sand, ass nigga. Yeah. No wet armpits can make it, my man. Hey. If you rub, if he headlock you, your hair gonna go. I, you know yeah. who you really look like, though, Cor. Okay. Uh -oh, Everybody, Marcus go. got a good one. Uh-oh, here we go. I feel this one. This is going to be a good one. Go. Shrek. 
You look, you look, you look just like Shrek. What? You do. You look just like Shrek. I was looking at it the other day. I was like, damn, this nigga look identical. Cole. It built the same. Big ass nose. I said, what? This nigga, they I look like Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> you, look, you look just like Shrek. You get the fuck out of here, nigga. I said Marcus is the original key sweat. That's messed up. <laughs> Tell him, Marcus, at least you're losing weight. You look you like sitting. every black bald head nigga in America. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. It's just a look for black bald. <laughs> <laughs> we already came up with the actors and shit. <laughs> anyway, I, it, was, it was some big black bald head personal trainer dude in the store today. I was like, you look just like Marcus. No. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Marcus who? No, he knew Mark. Oh, oh, you knew He, he knew <laughs> me. Yeah, he knew you. Uh. He, was, he, had, he had a, um, he, he had came from this, um, right over there by Century City Mall, it's a, um, a lot of medical buildings, and he was in there for um, wet gland, no sperm production. See, that only, see, he be, he be, Corey say the, uh, 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 the most, uh, 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 uh,
you can't tell me what to do because I sell tickets. The only reason I'm working the club is because I sell tickets. The big wigs that own the clubs normally want Corey Holcomb to work their club because it's going to be full that week. Mm -hmm. I sell tickets at comedy clubs. But all you garbage motherfucking sneak and record motherfuckers, I'm telling you, I'm going to attach it to the club. So the club going to have to... I don't need a DJ when I work. I don't need a DJ. All I need is access to the board. I got somebody who can do that because your DJs are too thirsty mm -hmm. at these C and B level clubs. Okay. This, this is motherfucking desperate motherfuckers. So I'm about to make it where when we there, we don't want a DJ and we don't want your manager having nothing to do with the sound. Because these motherfuckers are thirsty. Can I say something that's related so to that's, the that's same kind record? of... Well, they, yeah, they, the clubs set up ways where they can record shit, but mm -hmm. there are some clubs, like A-list clubs, improvs, and uh, 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 funny bones. Mm -hmm. They're not as quick to record your set because it's too much of a liability for their brand. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the fuck house of comedy and butt fuck Carolina, them motherfuckers sneak and record your set and then years later, they try to release it and say, oh, we got written permission. Well, that's you it. No, you don't. That's interesting. So I'm getting ready to sue the fuck house of comedy in Carolina, the fuck ass South Carolina club, because these motherfuckers, they so stupid, they put out a video of motherfucking Kevin Hart. I know it'll be off tomorrow when Kevin Hart people find out about it. They had a video out of Lavelle with a million hits. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, you know, I ain't seen the clip, but I see the it. fuck house of comedy used to have a racist bitch who owned it. Them motherfuckers, it used to be an old racist bitch. She got bought out. Back then, it was a whole ass DJ, an old white man, and this motherfucker must have recorded everybody. No more DJs when I'm working at any of these B or C list clubs. We don't want a DJ there, and we don't want no bitches in the back room serving us because bitches act like you did something to them. Oh, Jesus. That's the truth. Yeah. If you got a female waitress, you are in danger. That bitch will act like, oh, he slapped my butt when we went to the kitchen or something. Ah, yeah. Fuck on. Tired of the bullshit. Well, Thirsty did, motherfucker. Well, did you hear about George Lopez? It just happened. To, it just came out today. Whatever. He just sued uh, Pandora. Uh, for streaming 37 tracks of his first two albums, even though they're older, he's like, oh, no, you, you, you haven't compensated me for, for using my work. Right. Yeah, so he's requesting $5.5 in statutory damages over alleged copyright That's breaches. That's what I'm going to do to the, the, the fuck house of comedy yeah. in South Carolina. There you go. So it's, a, it's in litigation the fuck right fuck out y'all ass. Yeah. That's going to be my club. Or maybe all the comics that they pulled that bullshit on, we can get together and that just be our club and... We a motherfucking just work it how we work it. Because he said but they, they fucked. They didn't obtain the license. You can't do what you want to do, wanna yeah. do on YouTube. The mm -hmm. bust the niggas do it because they have no value. Right. Bust the niggas talk shit. Corey Holcomb a bad guy. Corey Holcomb this nigga. You ain't on shit. It be niggas sixty some years old calling me out my name. <laughs> I'll be like, I don't even know this nigga. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers online trying to pick fights with me and other people. I don't know them niggas. I know of them niggas because they easy to find. They really easy to find. It's almost like it's fucking sad. And I know they net worth. You ain't shit. But the, the fuck house of comedy in South Carolina, oh, you'll be getting this letter real soon. Y'all fucked up. The motherfucker went on YouTube and said he had written permission. <laughs> me, From Kevin the Hart, Lavelle. Man, y'all motherfucker, that club just opened back up, but it's gonna be shut the fuck back down. Dang, so he's even, he's lying. It's fraud. It's I got fraud. written permission. Fraud. Yeah, oh, yeah? Who wrote something for you? <laughs> so you telling me, look, Kevin Hart and Lavelle Crawford gave a club in South Carolina permission to use they shit. Yeah, to replay this. Come on now. <clears throat> and you dumbass don't know. We already got screenshots of you and what you claim. Ooh. 
He a dumbass white man, though. He mm. a dumbass, he dumbass mm -hmm. white man in South Carolina. Sandal wearing motherfucker. I already looked him up. And even though we probably get the club, it ain't as much money as you think. It'll mm. be a liability. Turn that motherfucker to a goddamn sweatshop. Oh my god! Fuck with you, Mark. Oh motherfucker! Yeah, we'll call the club fifty-one fifty and let um, stripping go on in there. But that club finna be, man. I... It's the only. It's the only. Is that the only club in there down there? Yeah, it's Columbia. Shit, y'all might well keep that motherfucker coming to the club if you gonna. Shit, do better promoting. I just want it to be shut down. Fuck them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Using. Big name headliners clips wow. online. Mm. But that shit that happened to George Lowe, look, motherfuckers made a movie with Mike Tyson without even getting up with Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. That's some crazy shit, bro. That's wild. Mike Tyson suing they at? Yeah, he told him I don't. Uh, Somebody told me the name of it. I know the name of that fuck ass club. They be trying to get me to work that motherfucker. I'm like, motherfucker, a hundred thousand dollars for the weekend. Just to come to your shit. We was there, the bitch, it was an old <laughs> racist bitch who owned the club. That bitch said, You gotta pay if you want some of these wings. <laughs> what? We was like, motherfucker, fuck your wings, old racist <laughs> bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny, name. Corey. I don't give a fuck. I'll put the motherfucking name out. They just said it, didn't they? No, I got names, nigga. <laughs> Some nigga named Pete something. This the motherfucker who lied. No, he didn't steal the 5150 brand. George Lopez and those guys had that brand <sighs> two years before we had the show. How you know it's two years, dude? I already know, because I remember when I I was following them. Okay, but how and you know it was two years? And 5150 doesn't say show. It's just 5150, which is anybody could, you know. That's right. It was a it was a group called Fifty One Fifty. Yeah, it's all kinds of things Fifty One Fifty because it's a it's a it's a call it's an arrest here. It's a yeah. I introduced it to my people. Right. The yeah. police code for crazy but is Fifty One Fifty. I was like, no, he had that brand out for a long time, hats and stuff. Hey, all y'all people in South Carolina, what is that motherfucker? Go on that little website and let them know them comics finna own this club. Mm. Fuck that bitch. It's a new bitch who own it. A new white bitch. <laughs> the motherfucking Karens think they can do everything they want to do. Mm. Oh, we'll just show clips of the guys that we recorded <laughs> without them knowing and say they said we could do it. Wow. You stupid motherfucker. You know what kind of paperwork you got to have for that shit? I don't know what you could forge and sign that will work. Because that's what YouTube said. Mm. They said that they have written permission to do this. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so motherfucking boss ass niggas gave your bust ass rich permission to yeah okay nigga mm -hmm. oh, that's, All right. so so it's a new owner mm -mm -mm. and she done she uh, done went off the chain this bitch, they trying to sell tickets down there they on some desperate shit oh, you're not gonna be able to sell tickets if you don't own the club stupid bitch let me look up this whole name that's name. funny K-Ham <laughs> gotta put the <laughs> hoe on black let me see <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, Marcus. Bless <laughs> you. Bless you. I can't find it in this phone right now. Talk to you doing 50 minutes, stink you over. <laughs> Very funny. Well, I got the bitch over. phone number right here. I should say it. Mm -mm. No, you don't want to get in trouble for that. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Melody! Comedian, I mean, Miss Lips said racist wings. <laughs> yes, that's funny. I got the whole name right yeah. here. I got all the shit. Thank you, Kristen. Get this lawyer in the morning. There you go. You must cease and assist mm -hmm. all these so called whatever, and we need documentation of what you say motherfuckers sign that we know motherfuckers are not gonna sign, you stupid motherfuckers. You shouldn't have put it under your South Carolina thing. You should have tried to get an anonymous name to put it under, like the dumb motherfuckers do who think they can't be found. But then it would have been harder to find you. You got the clips linked directly to the comedy club. 
Watch these niggas we snuck and recorded and buy tickets. What a stupid ass motherfucking country motherfucker you are. But anyway. I'm going to have Marcus come down there and hug that bitch. <laughs> with a tank top on. <laughs> and a motherfucking stocking that's cap that's wet. <laughs> All you got to do is go nod in her face. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? So here about the business. Oh, uh, nod in the face. You gonna knock woo, it Mail it that sweatshirt now. By tomorrow. It'll be nice and <laughs> Oh God. Ooh, I, I like your is that new growth? What you got, Mark? What? What? Your hair. Well, what flex? Just take your head off. Let me see how that line it really look. <laughs> mm. Don't do that. I like, I like he hot you right now. Oh shit. Who's he hot you? You don't remember uh taking and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know you ain't saying. You, yeah, Marcus, you you tired. You worked this weekend. I saw yeah. you sleep ah. in the green room. Marcus yeah. in there like this, dude. Oh no. Oh, With no. a hat on, a top hat. <laughs> you gotta pull it's something over your face. Up to you, <laughs> New York ass Stop. outfit he had on. I ain't stopped moving. I can't. I've been moving huh. since last week. Mm. Yeah, you gonna fall off, dog. No, oh, right. this road, this road uh, is unforgiving. Huh. Phil used to be a big tall dunk on you, Hooper. Uh, what is wrong with Phil? Now? Look what the road so did to Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Darlene used to be petite. I was everything. never petite. Well, no, I was. Of course, you was real petite at I one was, time. Just I was, your knees was fat, but other I was than that, no. I was much slimmer. I you was, always had fat uh, knees. Yeah. I was oh, much slimmer. Had, I've always oh, had big home. legs. <laughs> that road, look what that road did to me. Y'all just, just got old, it's all right. See, I'm looking at you, dog. <laughs> and you're going to be a fat, wet nigga, too. I can't. Oh, you ain't going to get no hoes. He what might not get, get fat. He's sweating so much. What's I get through this detox, man? <laughs> Yo, he, I can't. He thinks the detox oh, yeah. go oh, save God. his glands. Oh, oh. Yeah, that just means you're going to have skinny, wet glands. They said, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Who said that? What they say? <laughs> I don't know what they said. Woo! Who you is Mr. Peanut? Mr. Peanut with the little cane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Marcus. That's how Marcus Woo. was this weekend. Damn it, he's like said Like at the that. end of that first decade. Oh, I wish yeah. I didn't see this. Like when Family Guy go off. <laughs> Honey, hey, he's a Family hey, Guy. Yeah. Marcus had on that same man. I know he's the bullshit ass outfits you had, outfit you had on. Nigga. Boy, I was sexy as hell. Boy, I was I in that motherfucker. Boy, <laughs> that first outfit was terrible, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> just like it's pictures boy. of it? Yeah. Well, I was so sexy. You had three different outfits on. You look like you been to go to church and Wait, preach. Wait, he was on Maury Puppets? And nigga look like he was going to go dress, 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 uh, uh, go to church and preach. Uh, and then he looked like he had a hooping clothes on. Wrong, Brady. Then he clean up on the aisle nine ass suit. <laughs> Marcus looked like he was about to walk up to a bitch and Mr. be like, my lady. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh, that hell. The WB that frog hell. nose. Boy, don't, I know you ain't saying nothing about no hair, Damn nigga. Damn it, Cadillac Reese. The That's cool. Frog. The camera lets you see right where to put the 5150 in there. 5150 <laughs> fucking hat for oh. real, nigga. And we have these outfits, too. They're comfortable. We about to get some 5150 glasses for D. This is, this is a two-piece, and I love how the sleeves are, ladies. So if you want, like, uh, when, you know, they're They're also like coming these, out with 5150 chin straps. These, they're wearing these big, you know, T-shirt type things. It's nice and light. I'm going to buy you a back. I'm going to so buy you a blow dry. And just hold your arm up during the show and just go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it, y'all. That's all I got for you this right. week, man. We about to go down there to Houston and tear that motherfucker up. I'm doing my new abortion song and shit. Oh, Lord. It's called <laughs> Accessory. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. Whoa. Wow. What's that? Oh shit, what, what happened? happened? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Your outfit turned that music on, Cor. Don't get us in trouble <laughs> over no beat. Who beat was that? That was a that was a break dancing beat, nigga. What? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh shit. Uh, it went it didn't play enough of it, right? Nah. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, good. Anyway, all right. That motherfucker be uh, so thirsty. Okay. Somebody say Pittsburgh. Am I coming to Pittsburgh? I think we're doing a theater in Pittsburgh. 
That's that motherfucking We Outside tour. Django Wings. I, I, I got with them motherfuckers the We Outside tour, nigga. We Outside tour got funny guys on there. If y'all know about these comedians and shit, y'all better do y'all research on these niggas. See who funny. Some of these niggas be at that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Crack another one. Niggas be like, do something different. Niggas be on stage doing hand pump. Niggas ain't got no bitch. Been doing comedy 20 years. Motherfucker be up there shit. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo. Oh. My name I, is Peaches. Uh, at my <laughs> breast. <laughs> <laughs> I know niggas be doing that for real. They be doing comedy alone. Gotcha. They say what? I know niggas be doing that for real. Oh, they be my doing face hurts. What they be doing, boy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, a little Dougie Fresh there. Coming to America as sex. Oh, God. My name is Peaches, and this is my breast. <laughs> oh, God. You be like, nigga, if you don't get a real estate job. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't take an edible. Oh, God. We are, you know what I'm going to do on the 5150 show, and I don't care who get mad. Ooh, we are about to do the top. 10 worst comics that's been doing this 20 years ago. Oh <laughs> and I know motherfuckers gonna be mad, but we are about to do the top do 10 our... worst comics that's been doing it 20 years plus. I'm gonna get with niggas in Atlanta, I'm gonna get with niggas in Chicago, and I'm gonna get with niggas in LA. What other underground that you think is worth it? New York. We gonna go New York. You gonna do it each city? No, we gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna talk to veteran comics from New York, Atlanta, you round them up, round up there. Chicago, mm -hmm. and LA. Uh, and we see. want the worst, top 10 worst comics been doing this 20 years or longer. Mm. Man, woman, black, white, doesn't matter. Who is the worst, but keeps showing up? They won't give up. <laughs> you be like, nigga, <laughs> will you oh. stop? Stop. Thank you, Iron Diet. Do they have to have certain qualifications? We can add, when I say when I say New York, I mean Jersey. No, we talk about right. No, they look, if you've been doing this 20 years and ain't shit, come on. It's time that the world know about you in case you pop up on one of these online flyers. Because the garbage niggas be having the coldest flyers. They be on oh. that motherfucker like. <laughs> <laughs> or this one. That means stop. This, one. this nigga is about, right. This nigga this about one. to unentertain some people. Oh, my God. No. Hey. <laughs> Somebody say Jeff Brown. I didn't say it. Somebody else said it. Oh, my God. But I agree. <laughs> he been doing comedy 20, over 20 years? 40 years. Think, yeah. That nigga did Star Search. Ooh. Do you know what Star Search is? You wasn't even an Adam yet. Ooh. 40 years? 40 Damn. stuff, my 40? Oh, my God. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Jeff Brown. Mm. I'm about to take away your confidence in comedy and act like everybody else ain't shit. Sometimes he do this at the talk. This <laughs> like, who is this garbage ass? We can't. Stop. <laughs> Damn, uh. man. I hate, to be, I hate to be doing anything 20 years and not, and not cold at it. it just, that's, that's somebody like somebody said Dave up. Arnold. Dave Arnold got a special, but he got that motherfucking asshole that looked like a motherfucking camera lens. Oh, oh wait, shit. What? Oh. oh my what? The dick in the booty shit. Oh. The motherfucker's plug. He literally. Got two specials, huh? He just did another. Who else ain't shit? Here we go. I thought you guys were going to get the list together. We're going to get the list, okay. but I'm talking about people who no no doubt going to be on the list. Oh. The motherfucker, no you doubt. Gotta do, you got to do 10. You got, you, if you're going to do 10 total, mm. or are you going to do 10 from each, each of those cities? No, know? I'm doing top 10 unfunny niggas okay. who've been doing this 20 years or more. 
And the majority makes the list. In other words, you're going to ask other comedians? No, we're going to ask other comedians. Okay, there you go. Other comedians are watching this right now. Sure. Jimmy Martinez, I know you watching. Get your list together. Yo, you, Jimmy been watching niggas. Jimmy one of them niggas that go to the club and be checking niggas out. So, I mean. I'm talking about niggas. Talking about Black Bob Sumner, I'm asking you. Bob Sumner, I want to know who is your top 10 unfunny nigga who been doing this 20 years or more. We I'm talk talking about the niggas from motherfucking the real shit. And we ain't gonna even put in the joke thieves, because there's too many joke thieves. Like, you know. Why don't you do it to the top 10 joke thieves, too? Fuck the joke thieves. Them niggas ain't shit. We'll put them on black. We ain't gotta do no mm. top 10. Name a joke thief right now. David Arnold, who you got? I got balls. I see these niggas. <laughs> you they wanna fight, you wanna fight. Yeah. Fight me, you nigga. Are, you, always, you always say G things, so I'm just gonna go with the G strain. <laughs> All you do is steal joke. G strain <laughs> is a joke thief flat out. We can get people from all over the nation. I'm telling you, the man did Rodman whole act. And I was like, Rodman, this nigga do your act. Rodman ain't do shit. I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. say some names. Y'all motherfuckers scared. Godfrey, Godfrey was hilarious. So, so when you do the top 10, is you going to include white comics or is it just the black? Well, I don't know all the white comics like I know all the niggas. Oh, that's true. Okay, okay. so yeah. yeah. So but I know some story. joke stealing comics. Yeah. Because Amy Schumer more than that. Amy Schumer is known for stealing jokes. The other motherfucker who be acting like he Mexican, but he not. Louis Who's that? You know, D. What is the motherfucker name? Mencia. Mencia. Oh. Hack. <clears throat> Hack. But uh, is he still performing, though? I don't know. Hey. I don't know. Motherfucking Joe Rogan ran up on him. Oh, for real? Oh, I don't know. That's I don't motherfucking know. comedy. He took Joe Rogan shit? Joe Rogan ran up on him, and they was mad at Joe Rogan, the agency, for, for saying it. But then Joe Rogan got the MMA shit. So he, mm -hmm. it all came back. Yeah. Oh, so I he would, ran up Joe up Rogan, come time. do my show. Come do my show, man. Y'all motherfuckers would be scared. I can only have niggas like Joe Rogan them doing my show. Because Joe Rogan ain't scary. Like, right. Even if we disagree, we ain't, it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, that's the I can't thing have, that. if you get cake ass niggas around you mm -hmm. and you motherfucking are a titan, you're going to fall out with them. I might gotta so, so the best way not to fall out with them is don't have the real Scott Tissue type niggas around you. Cause you're gonna fall out with them. Cause they 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 tissue you soft <laughs> motherfuckers, and they want you to be like, don't say nothing about this or don't say nothing about that. <laughs> Nigga, what? How the fuck is you gonna tell me what not to talk about? This is my show. I take all the chances. Mm -hmm. I'm the motherfucker that everybody was like, oh, 51 50 show over. No, nigga, guess what? Still going strong. Yeah, nigga. I might have a way to get in touch with Joe Rogan. You gonna tell him you're an MMA fighter and show him your arm? <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, Alex Thomas. That motherfucker is a motherfucker asshole thief, too. <laughs> motherfucker be scared to say motherfuckers' uh, names and shit. I'll put niggas' names out there. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, beat me up one day when you see me. Fuck you. I ain't gonna do nothing but get up and be like, you got me that time. Uh, if you can whoop me. I don't know. I don't know. Ain't nobody else gonna say no name. Somebody said Bill Maher. That's what I heard, though. That's what I heard. But then we, we on the joke thieves. It's millions of them. I'm talking mm -hmm. about niggas who just ain't gonna never make a crowd happy they was at that show. The non-happy crowd comics. That's what we'll call them. <laughs> the non-happy crowd comics. Who in Chicago? The unjokables. Huh? The unjokables. I'm going to ask my man Jeff B. He'll come up with some good ones. Um, somebody, somebody said, Joe don't know you, Marcus. <laughs> I ain't say he they, knew me. I said they, I can get in touch with him. I know, I know they always hate on me. Well, I don't know why they hate on me. Somebody so said much. Leslie Jones. That's true. She was still in my man. You remember K Dub was on the show? Yeah. I remember she was doing K Dub jokes. Damn. Huh. 
Dang. I was like, hell no, this dirty bitch. She might be mad at me for saying that, but it's 100. I ain't saying it because I'm mad at nobody. I, don't, I, I root for Leslie. I'm glad Leslie is getting a lot of work in Hollywood and eating uh, white pussy. But. Oh, man, they ain't had to say my boy. <laughs> oh, who they say? Hell, Burger. I ain't oh. seen him, Burger. I don't know. <laughs> I just remember him coming. Well, these niggas be saying some names, Bird. Y'all lucky, boy. I want to say some of these names they saying because these people is on point. These people on point. They know the hack ass niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell oh, yeah. They putting them up. They putting them up. Please. But they, they putting them up. Oh, y'all got him fucked up. Go back down. I, I see one motherfucker who I oh. want to say his name. So, yeah. Mm. I want to say his name so bad. What, the one that sucks? You can stop. Said? You can stop. Because mm. they already passed it. I just wanted mm. to make sure that was him. It's a Texas nigga. Ooh. Hex. Hex. Nigga. I mean, look at this nigga doing everybody's shit. Yeah, but how long do they oh, last? Are there people that have been doing it like? No, what happens by? like if you keep doing this shit, eventually you'll fuck the right person that'll put you on. Uh -huh. Like David Ar Arnold sat on the right dick, where he oh got a motherfucking God. special, oh. and this motherfucker is a known hack. Yeah, <clears throat> fuck it. You'll see me. Got my number. Get my number from somebody and call me. You got a problem? Cause you know I ain't lying. I might be a savage, I might be all that, but I ain't lying on you, nigga. Put your name out there, because you motherfucking cross me, nigga. Now what? It's frozen. Chat's all right, so <laughs> fuck it. I we finna wrap you. this shit up. But we going to get, we go, we go with the joke thieves one day. Well, mm -hmm. When we do the joke thieves, I'm going to have a whole bunch of comics on here. Oh. I'm going to have a whole bunch of comics on here. Some going to be hacks, so we can put their ass on black. <laughs> I'm not with you. Yeah, fuck. Anyway, all right. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have burnt bridges once again with pleasure. <laughs> with motherfucking pleasure. Wayne Brady. I stand alone, nigga. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's a great one. I stand alone. I'm, I'm motherfucking finding ways without the help of any of the motherfuckers that I should be getting help from. I'm talking about ain't no Hollywood help. And it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers. They left me out on a desert island, but I'm still right there. I got agents telling promoters, I will pull my ex if you book my ex with Corey Holcomb. Mm. And the cake ass nigga did it. Mm. Mm. A promoter who motherfucking didn't have all his money one day back in Minnesota. Wow. And I was like, okay, keep that deposit for the next show. Because he was a young black brother. Now, we got the racist ass motherfucking agent saying, no, I don't want Corey on your tour. And then I'm on the next tour. I'm on the next tour that's better than the one. What the fuck is you niggas? Do you realize why y'all trying to stop me, dog? I'm just growing. I'm not on no TV show, but I be headlining these tours. And if a motherfucker want to go after me as the headliner, be my guest. It ain't going to be shit left. Especially what I've been doing lately. The shit I've been thinking of for the stage. Motherfucker, you don't want to go up there after me? I walk past your motherfucking green room like Morris Day did Prince. Like, oh, how's the family? <laughs> <laughs> terrible. You don't want to see me? I'm the motherfucking best. I just can't say that all the time because it'll sound weird if I say it. Oh, but nigga, the club staff tell me who's strong. The people who work at the club, them the motherfuckers will tell you who the funny comics. When y'all people go out to these comedy clubs, ask them who the funny motherfuckers who come through. You ask the waiters and the waitresses, they know. I be working these clubs, the waiters and waitresses and the cooks from the back be coming out the back watching me. Ah, that nigga said that. Them motherfuckers in the back don't even be having orders for wings with some of these comics. They just be cooking wings just to cook them. I don't want to go out there and see that motherfucker. 
These the motherfuckers with all the TV shows and everything. <laughs> the motherfuckers who got uh, fucked in the uh, ass and then come out with it later like it's a surprise. Hey, guys, I'm gay. Nigga, you got a TV show. I know he was gay. Oh, God. All the niggas in production with Hollywood. Let me tell you something. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm gonna really burn my bridge now. No, here you go. Come I'm on, I'm gonna man. burn it down. Feel over there like, don't oh, do it, don't Corey. do it. Fuck that. Easy, easy, big dog. Easy. Come on, disco. Don't go there. Don't go there, disco. Eight out of ten comics with Netflix specials done get fucked in the ass. Oh lord, oh, that's just God. eight yeah. out of ten. <laughs> they in the community, dog. I feel better now. Oh, oh my God. I got that mm -hmm. on my chest. I don't need them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers need me. I'm the motherfucker who sell tickets with no Hollywood. Just a motherfucking internet connection. This show ain't got no sponsors or nothing, motherfucker. I get an internet connection and I sell tickets at theaters and shows and all that shit. This show we doing in Chicago... Nigga, this is a funny show. This ain't no motherfucking Hollywood show. When I was a little kid, I used to go to the Chicago theater. We finna put asses in seats and tear that motherfucker down with no Netflix backdoor dicks. Motherfucker, talent will win. I'm motherfucking making the goat path Around, motherfucker. I'm 300. We in that motherfucker like, is that the best you can do? Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's like, oh, right, nigga. Uh, I'm motherfucking out there with a big ass shield and a motherfucking spear and a sword. Take it on 300 motherfuckers. Yeah, well, we, I was talking to a comic uh, this past weekend. He was saying that, like, it's some comics that got, that's on TV, on the regular. And you know what I mean? They got on uh, movies and shit. And they can't sell out weekends like that. They can't sell no tickets because they suck. The, the industry don't want you as the people to pick our next stars. They want to pick our next stars. And they want you to pay for that shit when they come to your town to make some money. Do your research on these comics. Mm. These niggas ain't shit. I'm talking about motherfuckers who in heavy rotation... They don't be shit, homie, and they can say I'm, I'm hating. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I ain't got to hate. I'm still motherfucking finding ways. I'm a man of the Lord. God got my back out here. He saw the best in me. In case that lightning strikes right now. Shit. Well, I'm so tired of going around these country hearing about these dick in the booty ass, garbage ass comics that I smile with and be nice to, but I'm like, damn, homie, you fucking up the game. Do you know, like, I wanna say to the rappers of the, of, the, of the 90s, do you remember when niggas who wasn't shit was coming out, putting out albums? <laughs> they fucked the game up. <laughs> they fucked the culture up of the game. The game is all fucked up now. You go pay your money and you see a famous person and you be like, wow, it's so-and-so. And they don't be shit. You don't know any of their story. <laughs> you can't listen to anything past a year or two even. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. There's going to be a lot of motherfuckers in the way. Mm, happens. You can't stop that. Yeah. Motherfuckers is loud. The point I'm trying to make, they tried to get in the way. But they can't. The people are starting to get comedy literate. They see these motherfuckers ain't shit. Now we go home. Let, 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 no, let's watch a special tonight. Y'all want to go somewhere and watch a special? It ain't going to be shit. You <laughs> silly. I know the motherfuckers who funny. When I watched Bill Burr the other day, I knew it was going to be good. Yeah. Oh, I was new, like, oh, that. Yeah. They go a winner right here. Oh, yeah. Bill yeah. Burr going to come with it. Bill going to bury that motherfucker. He did. He 
Then yeah. here come one of these motherfuckers that you know and speak to every day. You be like, this motherfucker, how did they put you on? <laughs> Didn't they see the recordings? <laughs> it seemed like they'll be like, we don't want to make you look bad. But mm. they put that shit on Netflix. I've seen specials where they ain't have no laughs through that motherfucker. I was like, I've seen laugh. laugh tracks where they edit it, mm. where they show people. Ah, 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 ah. I was like, that didn't happen at that moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. They forced it. Somebody say smash yeah. D on OnlyFans for a hundred dollars a view. What? <laughs> no, but I might start my own my new my own Twitch so they can subscribe. What's know. a Twitch? You have to look it up. Ice is on that. My son, he just that's one they used to be doing the games on. Well, the they games. used to. Now it's a lot. You can even just go in there and chat. You mm-hmm. can. It's different categories that you can open up. Well, there's girls saying, what, that are. What is known for there's them. girls in there that are, do hot tub stuff, but they have to be so chatting sh- abroad. D everybody. No, knows. I would you do. Make some money, I would don't? do. Yeah, I would do cute stuff. Show the like monkey. My toes or me washing. Like today, I thought about it when I washed my hair. I like that when I was blow drying the hair. You know, I like that. I'll, yeah, I'll you know, these, you wash my hair in front of people. Now, D, you, you can, yeah, you can I'd rather do, do that. One fifty subscriptions, <laughs> and you can do the. Well, do I'm on there with want. my son. They, they I don't pay, have. I have my own account, but okay, I haven't added they, anything they to pay, it. They can pay ten dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? Man, no, I would do five. It's tight you nowadays. You do five dollars? Yeah, it's tight for people oh, nowadays. Shit. So. You might say comedy matrix. You take them off five dollars? No, I wouldn't oh, do stuff like I'm that. She was. I mean, I'm going to exercise and do my, show my toes and do my hair and stuff. That's kind of cute. All right, D, enough. Hey, uh, Shut so up. um, no, I'm just fucking with y'all. Look, man, we on our way to Houston. Most of the tickets gone, but fuck with me. Better go on that website and get them tickets, motherfucker. I'm about to tear that motherfucker down. (laughs) Motherfucker, with the word of God. I'm a preacher. I don't just be doing no motherfucking straight comedy. I got word from the Lord for you motherfuckers. I'm really a preacher, goddammit. I'm Mm -hmm. a man of God. I'm on a mission. Goddammit. When I get (laughs) mine, when I get mine... And what I say, man, I ain't talking about money or fame. I'm talking about my true light. It'll be something unforgettable. Mark my word. These episodes of the 5150 show, 20 years from now, will be gangstered by the people who run TV and be like, we're going to play this. Mm. This actually was a hidden gem in the world. Don't you know have the episodes with dude get elbowed. What are some of the greatest episodes? <laughs> When 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 Rizzo was on here, mm-hmm. Tiffany was on here talking about all that oh, shit about wet, wet. going to the concert. But I'm telling you, she mm-hmm. reneged on that shit. Oh, that's <laughs> when Janet Jackson bust that dude down on stage. No. She was like, "Oh hell no, you can't be with me and let some bitch do that." So we gonna talk about that, dog. Y'all motherfuckers to see, man. And it's the repo. When you come mm-hmm. see me live. It take you coming to see me live to see who I really am. Because there's all kind of motherfuckers talking shit about me, and that come with the territory. You know what I'm saying? They talk about DKC, Mark is here. But it's all, it come <laughs> with the territory. Cool all, right, all you motherfuckers who got something slick to say about me, come on, nigga. Corey Greasy Neck, uh, yeah. My Greasy yeah. Neck? Uh-huh. Especially if you ain't shit. Nigga, do you know I can get niggas fired if I show your boss what you say about me? Ooh. If I, if I said, look, you have an employee, and this is how this employee represents online, do you know you can get fired from your little job? Ooh, see? Calling niggas out their name and cursing? You work for the white man. You can't speak like you want to. Mm-hmm. I do that. <clears throat> you can't do what you want to do. You're not me. You have to behave, or you will be fired, and you won't be able to keep your little apartment. So watch it. If I was a if I was a motherfucking bitch ass nigga, I'll show your boss how you be talking on YouTube. You can show my boss. Because you know who my boss is? Me. That's who. I'm gonna show your boss them tapes. Oh my god. I'm gonna get you fired and how you really out here. Well, you gotta make this shit work for yourself. Then you'll respect me. When it ain't no motherfucking check from motherfucking breaking the boxes down to come in off the back of the truck. When you ain't got that, that's when you'll respect me, when you got to get it. 
pay your own internet bill and all that shit. That's when you would respect me. But right now, you just a bum-ass nigga sitting around talking shit about Corey Hoker. And watch all the bum-ass niggas say, oh, he talk about me. <laughs> it's, about, it's about 100 of them out there. Anyway. Where the shoe fits. Mm-hmm. What's up with your show tomorrow, Marcus? What you talking about? Tomorrow, main 6 o'clock, mainstream, M-A-N-E, stream. We had that 20K last week, man. You know nice, what I'm saying? We had that go. 20K subscribers now. You know what I'm saying? We flowing and going on that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, Keep it's, it's, going, boy. I'm not talking, hold on. I, I think people, I don't care about people joking with me. That ain't nothing. But there are people out here, man, who really go out their way to motherfucking do cold-blooded, scandalous things. Mm -hmm. Open fake pages and all that with niggas, dog. These motherfuckers. <laughs> Name calling at 60 plus and all that <laughs> shit. And I ain't talking about that bullshit. I'm talking about that shit you won't say to nobody in their face. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if yeah, you say it to somebody in their face, it. it'll mm -hmm. start a fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't even want that. They cowards. They start a fight. I if you it. say that to somebody mm -hmm. when you see them, it'll be a fight. So I'm just saying, man, y'all motherfuckers, you ain't got no... Homie, if you... Look, and please, to all the people who got love for me, don't send me nothing with a nigga with 112 views... Talking shit about me. <laughs> I don't ah, give a funny. fuck. How, how did you find that nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, niggas go talk shit. I'm talking about with bad with bad energy. Right, right. Not we joke in the chat room about each mm -hmm. other. I'm joking about Marcus. It, Marcus arms ain't got nothing to do with him not having baby. Mm -hmm. His hair gone, his sperm gone. That's what happened, goddammit. <laughs> Yeah. Corey Don't Chin forget to Wanda. go to the store. These hats will be up tomorrow. So, More baseball hats will be up tomorrow. Just... Hey, this hat look fresh as hell. And this two piece too. It look big as hell too. It's a too. two piece, guys. It comes with stretch pants. Look at D. Want to mm -hmm. show that little boot? Show off that look. The little rooter tootle. <laughs> watermelon at the a, bottom of the truck. It's a sporty uh, version. It's in the watermelon. Uh -huh. I can <laughs> run. <laughs> With that little white part on. <laughs> I can run. Somebody asked me if I got stand up. Yeah, I got. I, I posted. I posted a stand up clip on my on my channel. Uh, like last week. I'm gonna, oh, I'm they post, got them fired. They D. I'm gonna post something that. else on them. All right. So uh, yeah. If you Does D have, have an OnlyFans? Not, no, not OnlyFans. About and four I, more years, no, she gonna be like, fuck it. No, that's why I want to do Twitch. You pay for subscriptions on that. Anyway, I I don't have my toes out today. I have sneakers on. So. Let me see them sneakers. D, what is them sneakers? Oh, Cora, oh that's crazy. Cora. What are they called? They're That's crazy because uh, Cora got the Cora got the green version of them right there on his feet. I showed my shoes already. <laughs> they look like them, the green version. Show your shoes. They dirty, nigga. Oh, that's all right, man. Need your brand here. A little ninety-five out, man, because I'm a dope runner. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at that. You look gay as hell with your feet in the air. You look like Woody Harrelson in the back of that car on that movie. Uh, <laughs> man. What was the shit? <laughs> Anger management. Well, he was like. Ee. <laughs> I gotta see these the movies leg. again. This one, knowing all the movies. Oh my God, it's been how long? Anyway. Don't fucking with me on that little stand up clip, though. All Which right, one? Almost oh, I posted, I posted a little, I just posted like a little three minute clip. I was fucking with me in the chat. Was it? Yeah. I don't it's believe. Yeah. Well, nigga, go in that motherfucker right there. It's about 300 comments. And, and, and Ooh, about me, 90, was waiting on 98 you to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I am on Wiki Feet. They didn't, they've been posting up my feet for years now, see, so. And that's without my permission. Yeah, Marcus will be with me this weekend in Houston. I'm going to let him go up there and get down for a minute, you dig what I'm saying? But, uh. 5150, we in the motherfucking house, but now we about to be out. Put that bitch motherfucking mouth. What can I say? Put some south in a mouth. Vote. Please vote for my dog. My dog's in a contest on, in a nation status, so I think the guys have the the uh, link. What dog? You ain't got no dog. Our dog. Dude, when you get a dog? Oh, she done adopted oh, that nigga, that new nigga dog. She took her son dog. That, I, I no, that's her son that's dog. Our dog. Oh my God. I know he'd be like, what Mom, kind of you're here is? again. He's adorable. You gotta look him up. But anyway, I gave the guys the link. You guys can go on there and vote for him. Ice got a look okay, gangster dog. He is super sweet and he's smart already. I taught him all kinds of stuff. Ice got a gangster dog. He's adorable. His name's Mijo Chapo Papas Mero. Right, they laugh what, what and they saw that. I feel like dancing. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> he's dumb. What kind of what kind of what kind of, what kind of dog is he? Ah. He's a 
that terrier mix, but if you go and you vote, that, that mean too. much. But it's <laughs> adorable old stuff. Well, and we're helping the shelters, and shelters and out, guys. Much. So if you vote, if you vote through uh, Facebook, it's free. See, There's me. Hi, me. Oh, look at the baby. There he is. <laughs> you see that dog ain't smiling. That's a gangster dog. <laughs> He's super sweet. All the girls love him. We walk him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They be like, hi, little doggy. He be like, what up, bitch? You can go on my Instagram and see more photos of him, too. He's adorable. I just taught him how to speak. When I speak to him on FaceTime, he says, I love you. I love you. The dog? Uh-huh. He's super I, I seen. I seen. Well, show him how you do it. Did I you seen. record it? Uh, no. How you didn't record it? I can actually have him. We don't believe you. He's I just like going to God. abortion. I swear. Watch. <laughs> It'll, I'll show you one day soon. But yeah, he, he can speak. He's so cute. Does I everything. seen some huskies do that. Yeah. Them smart ass dogs right there, them husbands. Oh, yeah. yeah. D, they say stand up again. You want to stand up again? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. on command. How much y'all pay me? Shoot. Like, D, ah. Ha ha. Ha It's coming. All right. Only thing. All right. But anyway, no, support the, support the show by the gear. I'm telling you, girls, this is cute. The, the, the pants are uh, yoga tights. They said a dog smelled Marcus' armpits from the you crib. stupid. And they fit well, and this shirt is so cute. Anyway, just saying. There's other stuff on there too. Short Corey, sets. Corey, you, you, you used to have a twin, didn't you? Did, did you used one? to have a bulldog? Yeah. Yeah. I had one too, Mija. Yeah. Mija Boom Boom Ortiz. Corey, you, <laughs> he said it looked just like you. I know it ain't going to be funny, but I just want to do it again. Can I say what the fly said when he smelled these just one more time? Go ahead. Hey! Okay, right. that was a way, good way to I end it. I feel better about All that. All right. Good 51 way. motherfucking 50. We up out this bitch. Peace. Yee.